Oops. Uh, we live? Oops. Uh, we live? Seems good. Okay, that seems to be fixed now. Fantastic. Hi, Nuka. Good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so I played a little bit off stream, just tidying up this and that, um, fixing a few little mistakes like forgetting to whitelist Vitima Lunge Nuggets uh, here or blacklist them from being picked up by the output trains, um, cleaned up the old uh, ion tanker and the old spaceship ports, uh, stuff like that. We've got Orchard, uh, I've uh, cleaned up all this stuff, we've got the battleship taken off and heading back to Nalvis orbit I believe. Um, and same goes for myself in the outposter. Um, we'll be there in 10 minutes game time. Fantastic. Uh, but what I haven't done yet with Orchard is trim the surface. So let's do that. I wonder how many chunks will be reducing the save file by this time. Yay, I'm awake and finally you start. Fantastic. Crinoa, good. Uh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Whiskers, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. 56,158 chunks. Um, and our entire planet is now reduced to this little rectangle. That's going to be a lot easier on the save file, or, or the save time, really. I don't really care that much about the file size. Fantastic, indeed. What the? What? What? The? We've got magic space trees uh, following our spaceship. Amazing. <laughs> This is beautiful. I, I, I must uh, worship at the altar of the space trees. What? No, the rocks are killing them. No, stop. Where, where's my lasers? Uh, personal lasers, go. Can I defend them? Doesn't look like it. Oh, this is tragic. Um, in that case, we have to, we have to harvest the holy space trees before they're just destroyed pointlessly. What? What? Why did I die? What? An asteroid hit me? Did it? I didn't... What? So much for personal laser defenses. I didn't even see it. What? <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if we'll get the space trees again. I would imagine they're, they're already there in that surface instance from when the spaceship started its flight. Died to asteroid while harvesting space trees, indeed. Put that on my tombstone. We don't have any space trees this time. What a disaster. Okay. Uh, let's not forget to trim... 
trim orchard. Hey Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Fat Boy Not So Slim, good to see you again also. Um, I guess it was divine punishment for harvesting the holy space trees. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. It's not like I just didn't see an asteroid coming. That would never happen. Okay. Uh, what should we do while we're still in transit? I threw down a couple of... This is not the best example, uh where to use them, but I made this blueprint recently. Uh, I'm sick of building mines, so I built a mine that has a train station in the middle of it, and we can just tile that and connect the rail, and that's it. Uh, it doesn't feature a power switch, but we could probably stand to just make sure we generate more power at this point, especially since we're inching towards um, beamed power. Very exciting. Uh, speaking of which, that is something we can do while we're in transit. Uh, continue to design our Material Science 3. Um, we've produced a shocking amount of these friction data cards very, very quickly. But they've produced an awful lot of scrap, or at least a, an awful lot of scrap has been produced. I actually noticed that one, two, uh, three, and I don't know how many more we have. I think that might be all of them these days. Um, all of our scrap processing areas are actually full of heavy oil and have nowhere to put it. Um... Our coal liquefaction plants have stopped because there's just plenty of fluid now. I'm sure that will change uh, when we go for some infinite research, for example, or probably well before that. Um, but for now, I'm not going to build a storage for heavy oil. I I'm just going to delete it. Um, this coal liquefaction was sort of supposed to be a storage for heavy oil. Um, but it's basically... it's quite full. I guess I could increase the amount we request here. We can fit 400k. So, if I set this to like... 380? Well, considering... considering these tanks are linked to all of this... Um, I doubt... Uh, I, I doubt a train is going to overfill it very easily. Um, so we'll do that as well. We'll make it like 350,000. I guess I could have done that before deleting the heavy oil. But there was an awful lot of it. Um, okay, so I want to see how much I can fit uh, with these. We're going to have... We're going to have to produce um, ammunition somewhere else, I think. Unless we want to dedicate an awful lot of space here to ammo. Um, if, we if we quadruple this, we need four belts for firearm magazines. There's no way we're turning iron plate into magazines here and pulling that off. Um, so I'm thinking maybe... Can we just remove this? I'm thinking maybe this goes... 
It could go just about anywhere, to be honest. Alright, why don't we design our output stations and see how much room we have left. So we're going to go standard pickup, uh, priority pickup because we need to get the side products out of the way. That being scrap and contaminated cosmic water. I probably already have um, an output that is exactly those two from material science previously. Scrap and contaminated cosmic water. Here it is. So let's just copy that. Make things a little bit easier on ourselves. Uh, how many belts we'll need remains to be seen. If we do manage to quadruple this and fit everything 99 scrap per second, jeez. Okay, challenge accepted. Can we manage four belts of scrap output? And it would be... Uh, 1632, two belts of ballistic shielding data. So we can definitely handle that with just some fast inserters here. I could put it on the other side, but we're going to need that space there anyway, so not much point in that. Let's get our spooters on the scene so that I can see where the uh, chests are should be going. Maybe I should, like, have a blueprint that includes a little bit of space platform scaffold, just so that I can see where these go without the uh, stations, and I don't have to measure where the stations go, etc. And there's really no need. Alright, so... Four belts. How many output belts do we have? One, two, three, four. That's actually perfect. It should be pretty simple. Um, let's maybe put this here. And this would go here. We can still have our substation pylon in the usual place if this works out. So we just need to uh, let's just do it like this. We just need to filter output from each of these belts, and it's going to cleanly work out to one belt of output for each uh, cargo wagon. I think it it's... I was going to say it's maybe not strictly necessary, but it will be if we have separate train stops inputting without merging and splitting. So we definitely need to balance um, our outputs. Do I want the boomerang? Probably don't need to go that far. Uh, let's do a 90 degree balancer. That should be good. Hmm. I think it might be tidier to do it like this. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Okay, so scrap 
is going this way. Hmm. I could move this chest up a tile if I have to. And I might just have to. Yeah, let's do that. So let's say we do it like this. And... That's going up a tile each time. It might not even be necessary except for this one, but let's make it look consistent. Um, and some of these undergrounds aren't... Uh, some of these regular belts won't be needed. Does that actually reach? Oh, I want that there anyway. How many tiles is this? I don't know, I think it would look awfully inconsistent if I do that, just to save a few bits of belt. So I'll leave that as it is. And we're going to have... Outputs like so. So this one goes here, this one goes here. That doesn't look right. That's more like it. We're not going to need these undergrounds unless we do end up using two stack inserters um, for each input. Oh, what about the fluid input? Did I not copy-paste that properly? We just don't have it on the right side. So this one goes here, here, and here. And we can connect that wherever we wish. I think we'll do the fluid input at the physical output thing this time, since we're running out of space to put it anywhere else. It's also consistent with some stuff we've done before. We've still got a few tiles down here. That's actually a really good fit. Um, so let's say ammo goes here. And here. And here. And here. We should have enough room... Uh, for these two belts to get where they need to go. Especially considering the throughput that we need from them is actually quite low. Less than half a belt of blank and less than half a belt of material testing pack. And same goes for the other two. And even if we doubled it, actually, it would still be less than half a belt so even keeping in mind that we might want to expand this, uh, like give it faster modules or something at some point, I'm pretty sure just one belt for each resource uh, split a few times is going to be just fine. Um, we don't need this to go any further. I'll tidy that up a little bit later. Um, what I want to concentrate on right now is... 
we need one belt from each side of the block for our output product. I think we could just do it like this, actually. How much is three quarters? Only 12.48. Wait, what? Hold up. I think we're missing... I, I, I forgot to place the uh, beacon, I think. Okay, that might change a couple of our calculations. Uh, so I need a beacon. I think we were putting speed threes in it. And where is it going to fit? We need two of them. This might be a problem, actually, because I forgot to include the two tiles uh, of separation. If this goes here, then this is going to get beacon sickness. Is there a way that we can just... I don't think so. We could... Uh, I hate to say it, but we could make an exception and put this down here. Although I don't think it would reach with the cable. Uh, with the green wire. Beacon sickness? Uh, if you have two beacons touching something, it doesn't work. Beacon overload. Uh, so, is this going to reach? Please say yes. Nope. Hmm. I could always connect it to the belt to connect it to here. It's a little bit tacky, but it'll get us our beacon placement without moving any of this stuff. And we do have, like, just barely a comfortable amount of tiles vertically, both at the top and the bottom. Although with this one, I could definitely use a uh, sideways output if necessary. Save just a little bit of space. But I think I would prefer to just... Do they really not have these belts right now? What? Oh, I forgot I left that there. Okay, I guess... Yeah, we do need some more belts. Let's, um... Let's send our spiders back for a minute. Do a little dance around the... Mole, so the bots can catch up. And then... Back to work. Um, I don't want to... This right here is where this needs to fit. The underground belt isn't going to reach if I put this here. Uh, what to do? The lowest I can put it is here. That's in the way of everything. Here would be the obvious place, but it 
it's too close to the stuff at the top. I think we maybe just move this up a couple of tiles if we can manage. Alright, so in that case, we do not want to add a splitter here. That would be bad. Um, in that case, we'll see how tight we can make this part. So first of all... We'll be needing... That might be a bit too greedy. Oh, that doesn't actually go there. This part might be a bit tricky already. Um, I could just put this splitter a bit further down, or something like this, makes a lot of sense. The only trouble is... Oh, that's some trouble I didn't anticipate as well. Okay, this would have to be over here, I think. And like so. Uh, this is getting more difficult than expected. Um, hey, Evil Plur, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Hmm. I really didn't think this one would be that difficult. That's wrong. That's not going to look that great, no matter what. Um, so which one is this? Blank data cards and... I just remembered I want to... I, I, I forgot about the... Um... No, I didn't. I was going to say I forgot about the uh, Iridium Plate and Heavy Garter. We're already swapping it this way, but we do want to make sure that this belt, the one with the filter inserters, um, gets uh, iridium plate and heavy girder, so that we can just, with one inserter, tell them not to pick that up. So in that case, uh, this belt here is going to have to be Gerda and Iridium Plate. So we need to swap um, Material Testing Pack with Iridium Plate. Okay, that should be fine. Copy that across. So the one with the filter inserter is plate and girder. And the other one is... This is looking a bit awkward. Uh, the other one's going to be testing pack and blank data card. A sigma beam. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so this is going to go over here. 
And we need to somehow split that into the middle there. And bring it over here. Um, while also allowing these two resources to go to these two belts. Overclock, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, they're coming back with the belts. Fantastic. Um, this needs to go over here. It might be worth considering... Yeah, here I was thinking we'd find room to bring this up a couple of tiles, but I seriously doubt it. Maybe down a couple of tiles somehow? Perhaps. I think we could definitely save a tile or two down the bottom. Um, but it might be better if... It doesn't actually save that much space. I think I had another version of this where... Um, I don't know if I blueprinted it, but it basically uses the inserting directly onto splitters trick to make the stack insert as faster. Uh, it does save a tiny bit of space, but only like a few tiles on the corner or something like that compared to the sideways one. We could bring this up a tile. That might make all the difference. So this one is plate and girders. Needs to go here. Um, I can put this as far back up as effectively here. I think. Because I have to avoid this tile. I could always move this to the left a little bit, if I really have to. I think. I could be wrong about that. So, this goes here. And then this one... What a bunch of spaghetti. We did it. That's not quite right. Uh, this needs to go here. And this needs to go here. Cool. Why are the... Why are the bots already doing the weird hover thing? None of these spiders appear to be overly full. They just came back from the mall. So why do we have bots hovering? I'm going to try to ignore that for the moment. Alright, so in that case... Uh, this one is girders and plate. That just barely reaches. So that's going to go here. And this one. It's not going to look very good. These ones stopped hovering. I don't understand why or why these ones are hovering now. It's 
strange but but yeah that'll get the job done um so this actually is complete Uh, wait, this one, this one goes here, that looks good, that looks good, and that looks good. Okay. I think this is a rare instance where we actually can copy-paste-flip this. And this one will be slightly different because of the right side bias of the inserters. But it should probably be about the same ultimately, I hope. What is this? Oh, right. Okay, so this goes here. This goes here. This goes here. No, it doesn't. And this one goes here. I think we'll flip this around and just do an underground belt here directly. Probably something like this to keep out of the way of the other stuff. Um, so... We're gonna have... something like... this, I think. And we need to split... Go down here. Might need some underground here or something. And after that it's very straightforward. So I'll just double check. This one is plate and girders. Are those boxes too close to the rail? Boxes too close. Yes, they are. Uh-oh. Uh, this one will have to change a little bit. But other than that, it should be fine. Alright, uh, just to keep the wire connections, I'm gonna delete all of this and place it again. Space Underground Belt Ghost is in the way. Okay. So this one's gonna flip around. This goes here. Uh, we'll be picking up magazines. And then... This goes here. Can we get across here? Just barely. Okay. This one... I need to split this down here, but that might be a problem.
Hmm. Let's get the spiders in range. So I can see a little bit better. The bots are still hovering. I don't understand... What? Okay, one of the spiders must have been overly full. But everyone that I checked seemed fine. Hey, Noxyway Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So I want this to go across to the final long arm inserters. And the question is, can I split from this to here and to here? And it's not looking good. Maybe if... Hmm. I think I have it. Just have to go around. It's very spaghetti, but I think it I think this is correct. I think this works. <laughs> Thank you. Uh Greeks though. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I split the lane before the last underground belt. Before the last underground belt. Uh, which... Oh, this? I don't think that's what you meant, but we caught that mistake at least. Well, uh, if I was using editor extensions to design this thing, this would be the part where I use some item spawning things so I can see very clearly where each belt goes. But I think that's right. Um, so that still leaves the problem... In fact, I think this is the only problem left. Connecting the lubricant is going to be easy. Um, the only problem left is how do we fit the beacons if these machines stay this close together. We need them to be in the middle. And we need them to not go further down than this. Or further up than this. We could put it as far down as here, but I don't think that helps. Um, same applies up this end. I was toying with moving this inserted down to here. Which would allow me to put, to move that splitter, to have an underground. Um, I need to move this long arm. There's nowhere to put it. If we go up a tile, there's nowhere for the underground here. What about two tiles up? Can we do this? No. We're one tile off. Well, no, we would need this underground. I'd have to move this up a tile, but that's fine. But if I put it here, we could do these undergrounds twice, um, I think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that would just barely fit. I could move the splitter there. I could move this one down a bit. But then we're still just barely touching the machines up the top. Um, that's unfortunate. This is by far the obvious natural spot to put it. But we can't do that. Can I move this two tiles down? 
I think that's kind of what we have to go for. I very, very much doubt. Um, that we're going to... That we're going to find a way to save one more tile of verticality up the top. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's impossible. Um, so... If we use undergrounds here... We can definitely move this stuff up at least one tile. Quite easily, actually. We could... Hmm. This might be easier than I thought. Let's finish laying this part out. Um, there's only parts and scrap that are going to come down here, so that's already... We're going to get one belt from this side. Not a full belt, but we're going to call it one belt. And we're going to get two belts on this side. Uh, probably should have... Probably gonna have to have another splitter here to match this in. So from this point on we need more than one belt, I believe. How many machines is this? 32. I didn't even get around to rechecking... Oh, it's actually... It's actually more than two belts of scrap. Um... We might just have to bottleneck on the scrap output at this rate. We could add some efficiency modules and use less power. I'll just double check again, each individual machine scrap output is 3.36. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure if filter and sort of output is fine. Alright, so we're going to end up adding some efficiency modules to this, that's okay. Um, but here we need like two splitters to merge one into two right I think so and then this goes here this goes here throw in some undergrounds and that goes there so if we use if we use some undergrounds like so we can move this up a couple of tiles we can move this up at least one tile. That belt can be a bit more flexible. Um, and we can definitely move this up a couple of tiles. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Uh, this belt's going to change a bit. And by move it up, I mean we move everything else down. Actually. I think. The belt balancer is not going to work that way. Okay. 
Okay, what can we do with the belt balancer? Uh, do we have a preset that's going to work here? Yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm pretty confident about this part. We'll worry about that after we've moved everything. Okay. I'm just going to... I'm just going to remove this for the moment and figure out where that goes afterwards. And... I think we just cut all of this. Well, no, not all of it. Um, we cut half of it. So these four machines vertically right here. Go down two tiles. And it's kind of hard to see everything here. The spider legs are in the way. Just replace the pylon. Fantastic. Alright, so we should be able to make room for our beacon right about here. And same thing flies over this way. It's still touching everything, right? Just barely. The one on the left is one tile off being out of range. Okay. That goes there. That goes there. And we are just barely not touching the other, the other side with the beacons. One off? But it's, it's more like one on, isn't it? We're just barely pulling it off. Alright. Uh, I'll just put this one here. And we can have this one reach across like so. Normally I'd love these love for these to line up, but that just happened to fit perfectly, so we're gonna go with it. And I think we've got just a little bit more than we need for a boomerang. 4 to 4 balancer. Fantastic. Um, so I think we can literally just cut this, bring it here, and then that's our balancer. We can cut this down by one tile. Oh, wait. No, that should be fine. Um, we'll have the pipes connect like so. And may as well. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, no, the pipes do need to connect up this way. Let me just make a copy of this. Make things a little bit easier. That needs to go there. 
We don't need to do it in the middle, that's the output fluid. Lubricant goes this way. And we may as well. What we got? Five, six, seven. That one's not going to work out as well. It's coming together. How many tiles is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, two undergrounds is as good as it's going to get. You could also do a pair of threes. Uh, this is going to be a five and an under. It's going to be a seven. And this is a little bit of an exception. And I'm sure we'll find some room for the output fluids somewhere. Probably not up top. I'll just double check. Maximum rate for output fluid is pretty slow, actually. Very, very slow. So we're not going to be concerned at all about how all of these connect, as long as they do. We could connect these ones here, this one here, this one, not exactly here. We could, but it'd be spaghetti. What about down the bottom? Might be a bit better. This one is going to be a little bit of a mess, no matter what we do. I could, uh... I could actually move this belt up a bit. Um, not like that, though. The output belt for coal at the bottom in the middle is rotated in the wrong direction. Do you mean scrap? And was that the one I just changed? This one? Good catch anyway. Um, so then we'll be able to put this here. And... This is still going to be a bit awkward, no matter what we do. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to love this piping. I don't think there's a way around that. But I just want to be absolutely sure we're not going to run into uh, something we can't work around before I go too far with everything else. I think we'll have to bring this one down here. And this one something like this. We can reduce the pipe count by two here. This is going to be our output. Oh, this is already... That's a 15. It's not going to connect. And this doesn't have any room to go anywhere. 
This doesn't help, this doesn't help, this doesn't help. I think we just change our 15 here. To whatever's going to be the most convenient. What about a 7? Not quite. How about some 5s? Oh, that actually doesn't reach. Um, I could do seven, seven, and one. It's the same number of pipes. But we'll need some pipe going down this way regardless. Alright, that's our output fluid, which we've already configured the train station for. Uh, we will be needing to uh, pick up solids and drop off fluids here. And we're going to be requesting lubricant. Let's put it here, actually. 120,000. Um, that should all be configured already. What's the name of our product? Ballistic Shielding Data. Oops. Tiny buttons. Lubricant. Requester. That's the wrong one again. Cool. Um, and last but not least, we need to connect this somewhere. Maybe here. Would be as clean a connection as anywhere. Okay, I think we're almost ready. Um, there's got to be a few things that I still need to fix, though. We never ended up having to use this. I didn't copy that across anywhere, did I? I don't think so, no. So I'll just tidy these up. And this one's already done. So the spiders in range. Oh, they're already in range. Fantastic. What about on the other end? I'll just remove these undergrounds, but I'll I'll leave this as an underground in case I do. That's actually a problem. This one not so much, but if we end up deciding we can put this here, that's fine. Okay. If we do end up needing double stack inserters for the input for the ammo, which I don't think we will. We'll be able to do that still. I'm not sure, but the pumps on the right bottom aren't in the right direction. That is a mistake I commonly make. No, this is fine. This is actually an output uh, for the uh, contaminated cosmic water. Pumps on the bottom right side. Is that uh, is this what you meant? All right then. Cool. Uh, let's tidy this up a little bit. That's a good fit. And what's the 
range here. I feel like this is going to look a little bit better. Maybe. Yeah, I like this more. Although... I don't suppose that'll reach across, will it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, not even close. Still, I think that is a little bit neater. Doesn't look like any wiring was broken by splitting this stuff up. So that's going to be nice and easy to update. And I think we might actually be done. We do still need to make the ammunition uh, somewhere else. Still, we can summon all of these resources um, to make sure that they go where they're supposed to. Did I set the requests yet? Nope. Alright, so... Ammunition. What's it called again? Magazine. Uh, iridium plate, iridium girder, heavy girder, girder, uh, blank data card, and material testing pack. And we're going to request... Quite a lot of ammo, that's the highest throughput by far. Uh, 180 per second on each side. Although we still haven't put in some efficiency modules, we're going to be bottlenecked on 90 scrap per second at best. Um, now that I look at it, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. And one, two. We can actually double the filter inserters outputting if we absolutely need to. So that part at least isn't an issue. Uh, these are not going to reach if I don't do something. Though, I think we'll do it like this. Partly because it's easiest to patch it this way. And partly because it leaves room for additional inserters. Okay, that looks weird. It's fine. Is it though? Okay. Um, what else do I need to check before I pull the trigger on some of these inputs? Nothing? Question mark? Well... If we make mistake, we make mistake. Uh, magazine. And we're going to go for... Like, four stacks. I mean, four train loads. 32, 64, 128,000. 
Um, plate is awkward. This is like the only thing that stacks to 40. And we're only going to summon just barely more than one train load of any one of these because we've only got one chest for each cargo wagon. Um, so 160 times 40, 6400. We get 48 chests as opposed to 40 from a cargo wagon. So let's add 10%. Um, times 40 times 1.1. Pull it 7,000. 7,000. Uh, and if we use that same formula with stack size 50, we'll call it 9,000 girders and blank data cards. That's worked in the past, this setup. Blank data card and uh, stack size 10, I think, for this thing. 1760. How far? I think we're consuming the testing packs faster than the those other things, though. 17... It's actually exactly the same as the blank data cards, for example, but... Compared to the stack size, we're consuming them way faster. It's actually almost two stacks per second. So that means... Uh, we get like a minute and a half. To keep this going full speed all the time, we need a train delivering um, material testing packs every minute and a half or so. But at least with the small stack sizes, the trains will unload very, very, very quickly. Now that I think about it, um, with the time it takes to unload the uh, firearm magazines, this isn't going to work that well. Well, all the more reason to just use more efficiency modules and not go quite as fast for the one block. So we have uh, five different resources here. May as well allow five trains to queue up at once. And let's start summoning some trains. I'm almost tempted to use this space or something to make ammo. But I'll be a bit more sensible and just build it here. Actually, let me make a blueprint of this. Uh, compact or by drop off. What should I use to symbolize this? Okay, that's gonna go in the unloaders. And we're going to go for... Well, I need to figure out the rates. Also, we should put some efficiency modules in here. Uh, how about... What's our usual for, like, negative 70% power consumption if we're using tier 3 modules? This is not it. Is this it? Yes. Uh, four speed modules. Alright. One, two, three, 
transport. Trains should be able to keep up with that. I hope. So what's our rate now? On each side we're looking at 65 scrap per second, uh, 10.8. So this is well within the two belts of output. And... That should all be a bit more reasonable. That might be manageable. Okay, uh, we need to make some ammo, and I want to make this as, as efficient as possible in a number of ways. Why are you stopping here? Oh, I forgot the old... It, it was relatively recently that I started using chain signals for spots like this. And they usually don't stop if there's a train stop, which then normally would be in this block. Hey, Hughes Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so we're going to do some drop-offs. We're going to need a ton of iron plate. I want to use as few machines as possible, so we're going to go for a space manufactory. Or two. Build it on right side and have bots fly it over. Um, I don't know. I don't really feel like doing that now. I particularly like the... Um, I particularly like the blocks to be self-contained as well. Alright, so if we go for magazine, even without speed modules, we're looking at 40 iron plate per second. Okay then. Um, we could do six belts Unless we move this uh, rail further down, and then we could use eight from each train station. That might be the way to go, actually. There's, there's going to be no shortage of space in this block. Um, so let's remove... Let's remove our straight rail here. Oops. Need this one, this one, or this one. I hope that is deleting the right one. Doesn't look like it. There we go. Uh, and I would like to. Why can't I connect this here? There we go. I'd like to. Bring this in a bit. Let's remove that. Maybe like this. And this would go here. We should have room for high throughput uh, drop off stations. We'll go for... I could even fit this one up here if I want to now. Which I don't. I think we'll put the left side one here. And upside down left one like so. Right side. And right side.
If I use speed beacons and go all out... Space Manufactory... Nothing but speed 6. This thing... Nothing but speed 6. How fast is one of these individually? 240 iron plate per second. Wow. How many inserters is that? We need some stack inserters to measure it. Uh, if it was direct insertion, it would be three stack inserters for output and nine for input. That's a lot. But we can do that. So why not? Um, I think we'll just go for the most direct. How much are we getting here? 800, uh, 360 per second from the train stop. So we could actually put twice as many machines and, uh, put in some efficiency modules as well. Okay. Or maybe a few more machines, so we don't have to pay 26 megawatts. Is that even a lot in orbit? We get 3.7 from each flat solar panel. Even so, if we use efficiencies, we're going to have a more like consistent um, power consumption overall. Uh, how fast is this? 448. Let's just start adding efficiency modules until the ratio looks good. And we'll see how that looks for power. Do you not have efficiency modules? Seriously. Stack splitting is a little bit annoying. Why do you have laser turrets? Well... The efficiency module doesn't affect the speed, so let's compare it this way. 448. Um, what is what is that? I made a what what the I made a rate calculator entity in my inventory, and now it's gone. I think I just hit the wrong one there. Efficiency 9. Okay. Right, calc that. Four, why does it still say 448 per second? That didn't change, did it? Something's off. 208 per second. 208 per second. 240 per second. Wait. Is this thing... Hold on. This is more than four belts, even without an... Uh, even without a beacon. Okay, that's kind of... Kind of crazy. I wonder if we could direct insert all of 
the uh, hmm. probably maybe direct insertion especially with stack inserters is considerably faster than belts um and rate cut can actually tell us exactly what it takes to keep up 7.5 and this is 8 okay all right let's let's consider this so if we do it like this why can't we why can't we place that there Space manufact. Oh, it's in the way of itself. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do it like this. And can we fit that on the other side? It's like we can. Uh, De Camillo, thank you very, very much for the gifted subs. Uh, enjoy it, uh, RF Holloway and Kaki45. Much appreciated. Thank you to Camillo. How do I pronounce that? And we need some, uh, stackies. Iron plate goes here. Well, if if it's going to go that fast with tier 6s, we can definitely throw a beacon down and use some tier 3s for now, I think. Um, let's just put this here first. It should consume evenly, but we might want to put some circuitry in to make absolutely sure. Or we could just... If we set the... Um... Hmm. I want to make sure this stays balanced, but I want to not slow down the output or input as well. Let's put our beacon somewhere like this. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Our output station is going to be something like this. And the output station is going to be a big one because we want to use the maximum number of inserters. Because we have to load 32,000 uh, ammunition to fill a train. Let's do a pickup right about here. Uh, I want to change the modules again. Since it's so easy to go super fast, let's use some, some cheap ones. Uh, I think we actually want efficiency. Oh, it does work like that. Okay. And speed. Let's see how this looks. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. It requires six inserters to keep up. Should be fine. How many do we need for output? Uh, 1.5, so we're going to need two or three placing onto a belt. I don't suppose it's going to be possible... 
no, we wouldn't be able to do it on this end anyway, but I was thinking of direct inserting and then having the train track here. One of these would have to be a long arm anyway. Okay. So as many as three. So that is for output. Uh, 42 firearm magazines per second. I feel like we're going to need four, actually. And we need to make sure we use both sides of the bell. Okay, so in that case, splitter goes here. Priority that side. We could make it strictly go to this side, but it doesn't matter. Move our beacon up a little bit. Oh. No, we don't want that to merge into into the into this belt. So I'll actually just put the outputs for these ones. Somewhere like this. A repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. And we need... So this is actually four belts. It's going to go into our train station. Um, and I want to use... I'm going to have to move this back a bit somehow. This part needs to be straight. I don't think we can... We can do it this way. I hope we can fit some signals here. Not quite. It's fine. That'll be okay. So I want the absolute maximum of inserters for loading ammo onto the train. We may end up making more of these blocks one day, but just one block or half block of this should be able to keep up with it. Um, so I think we'll do it something like this. And if I use a balanced loader for this thing, it should mean we consume equally from all of these. I think. We can't reach across here because the range is only five tiles. So actually, I think what we should do is have the lower ones jump across here, and these two go this way. I prefer not to have the inserters picking up corners, but it should be fine. I don't want to put this here just for consistency's sake. And this one goes here. And then we're going to put in fast inserters. Actually, probably stack inserters.
I don't know if six fast inserters can keep up with almost a belt. Uh, and last but not least, some circuitry. First we connect all of these chests with green wire. We'll connect it to the LTN stop now so we don't forget. May as well set the station name while we're at it. Magazine. And then... We need to connect the inserters. Let's give them some settings before we copy-paste. Everything less than or equal to zero. And we're going to set it up so that zero means their average. They're going to receive a positive signal of how much is in their local chest from this red wire. And on this green wire that's touching all of them, they're going to receive a negative of the average. Why is there green wire in this chest? Ever since they made it so that you can keep stuff in the character inventory with the navigation satellite, I don't, ex I don't know exactly how it happens, but it's possible to spawn wire physically for free. Okay, so we're going to need an arithmetic combinator. And I think I'll put that here this time. We're going to connect its output to all of our inserters on the outside. And we're going to connect its input to all of these chests. Since we have uh, 48 of them, we're going to divide by 48, but it's going to be the negative average. And when this thing receives positive and negative, or well, any combination of signals, it's going to implicitly do addition and subtraction. So. We're going to have less than or equal to zero if we are at or below the average in our individual chest. Jelly the Bean, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so I don't think I can flip this, can I? So let's just copy paste like, uh, like so. How fast is this going to be, actually? Um, 168 per second. What the? No. Okay. And we're looking at... 108 per second on each side. Let's double this already. This should line up the same way. Yeah, I need to update this part, though. Upper and lower chest are not connected. Only have the lower on the combinator. No, I think they are connected. I connected them over here. When I connected it to the LTN stop. And I didn't miss any of those wires this time. Okay, cool. Uh, let's connect this over here. Maybe if I'd done this further down... I don't think I can do that. Okay. I'm just going to remove these signals so that I can copy, paste, flip this and make sure we get it exactly the same. And this goes here. Let's put the signals back.
didn't see that right connection. No worries. Um, and we should probably, if we can, we cannot. The only trouble with this rail layout is if there's a train here, it's going to block the ammo train from picking this up. The train would still be able to leave if the other side isn't blocked. I don't really see a solution to that, just because of the somewhat arbitrary where can we put a signal things. I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem. Okay, so this is going to go here. Put that on that side. Be sure that's right. Yep. This is going here. Let's connect the wires before we potentially forget. So that's already connected. Fantastic. And last but not least, this goes here. And we've got room to double all of this very easily later on, uh, if we decide that we need more of it. If UPS wasn't a thing, I would just double it to begin with. Okay. So this is ammo provider. And we need to request iron plate. Uh, let's say we're going to go through it very quickly, so, and we've got room for more than eight train loads here. Uh, so why don't we just go for eight train loads? 16,000 times eight, 128k. And station name, iron plate, requester, okay, let's see how it looks, and it should be the only thing left is ammo over here, I'd like to pay, uh oh, what's happening? What? 120k lubricant. Request threshold 100k. It's completely full. It is connected. It's conne It's connected to the wrong thing. Okay. Alright. I see how it is. Um, I don't think I can just leave this train here to get the fluid drained. Because we're not going to be going through lubricant that quickly. 54 per second, or 100 and... 108 per second when this thing is going full speed. We have 69,000. It would take uh, 11 minutes of this thing running to empty this train, but I don't have... Uh, I don't have a system for recycling fluids when something like this happens. There's no lubricant here. Why not? If I, if I have to, I'll manually send the train back here and flip the pumps around. But... 
I'm surprised we haven't seen lubricant delivered. Did I just not set it up? I forgot to switch this on. Yep. Well, there's your problem. I'm pretty sure everything else has been set up for lubricant to be delivered up there. Well, in that case, why don't we... Here's our iron plate. Oh, wow, that's fast. Look at it go. It's going so fast. It's doing weird things with the sound. Well then. Um, before the tanker arrives... Uh, let's put things together so that so that the lubricant will get recycled back here. Okay, and I have to remember to turn those pumps around as well. Let's get our spiders back to the mall. They've probably arrived by now. We're at Nalvis Orbit. I just didn't anchor yet. There we go. Fantastic. Let's get our scooter. Uh, I'll just go back to the mall to make sure I'm resupplied. But quite soon I want to pick up is 469 tier 6 productivity modules. Fantastic. We've actually run out of processing units, so this was a bit aggressive, but I think it's worth it. Uh, the sooner we upgrade a whole lot of stuff to productivity 6s, the further our resources are going to go. Um, but actually what I should do next is build a new block for Holmium stuff. Um, the biggest pain doing that is going to be redesigning this stuff. Um, and there was another block that was very, very similar to this, needing the chemical plants making beads. Uh... And then the crushed Holmanite requires water, spits out rocks as well. I, th I thought there was some steam involved. Maybe that was for a different one. That was a Vulcanite. But I was also trying to think of... Not this one. Was it Cryonite? Yeah, Cryonite. No, Cryonite doesn't use beads. Erudite? Erudite. Oh, the Erudite's one is significantly more complicated. Anyway, um, that part's going to be the most complicated part. We're going to let the Omni Smelters deal with uh, smelting the ingots from now on. And then... Uh, I don't know if we'll, we'll probably do this in one block, and then we'll do all of this in another block. But right, we're actually just bottlenecking on machines. Um, the Holmium cable, which is what we need for blue circuits right now. Where's our ammo? Did we not get 32k yet? We're bottlenecking on iron plate being delivered. Probably need to bump up the train limit for delivering iron plate. Yeah.
We can also increase the train limit here. stacks. We'll do the same thing for copper if we haven't already. Looks like we have. Okay. And how about steel? The only reason I'm limiting these chests is I want to keep the uh, I want to keep them as balanced as possible. If a short train comes and picks this stuff up, but considering the volume and the number of bots we've got and everything, I think this is fine. Okay, uh, I think we're ready to, oh, let me label this real quick. I really want to see the first products made for ballistic shielding data though. Ballistic shielding data goes here. The icons are a lot more detailed than you'd think when you look at them more closely. Alright, so that is uh, friction data and ballistic shielding data complete. We need radiation shielding data and explosion shielding data uh, to finish off material science pack 3. Not sure if it has a good throughput, but looked awesome. Uh, I saw an interesting way of moving items between planets, putting trains on the ship and aligning the uh, the rails so they drive off on their own when arriving at the destination. That's awesome, but I don't think we have the uh, the whole integrity to pull that off just yet. I'm, I'm assuming the uh, I'm assuming the cargo wagons are included in the container stress. Then again, it might it not it might not actually be that much container stress. It's probably less than it probably just goes by the number of stacks, right? So weirdly enough, a cargo if this is correct, a cargo wagon is actually going to be less container stress than a buffet uh, than a chest. Holly Isoprene, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And uh, Ascend Anima, welcome, welcome also. I feel like designing some more data cards. Um, I think I'll build out some more blocks over this way to do it, though. Let's bring the... I forgot to resupply. I didn't check this button. Let's bring the scaffolding spiders out here. And we'll build a couple of blocks right about here. That'll put all of the uh, tier 3 material science uh, data cards close to each other. It is very good. The ship can take off after the train... After the train leaves the ship, indeed. It's also a good way to, uh... It's also a perfectly good way to be able to detect when the ship should leave. Limitation is your spaceship tech of hull stress. Yep, we're currently at 500. We're going to be at... I was going to say earlier 800, but I think because of something else we unlocked. So we're going to gain 1, 2, 3, just from Material Science Pack 3. 
because we've already got energy three, this is another hundred. Uh, okay. So we're going to gain 400 spaceship structural integrity as soon as we get material three going. Um, although technically we've got energy three, it doesn't seem to be flowing just yet. We have been finishing some products. Oh. I made this mistake again. Just forgot a couple of belts. Yeah, I, I thought it was taking a while to get our quantum process of research started. Currently, I'm doing the train ship with nine, nine one to four trains. Wow. <laughs> okay. Ship speed two hundred. I wonder how fast I could get a ship to go with. 500 integrity. I did consider briefly building a new design for the uh, uh, the personal transport, but I don't think it's going to get much better than our space truck, especially if I want if I want it to have some cargo. Well, we're already right at the edge of hull stress and container stress, and we're not using any liquid rocket engines. Um, then again, it might not add a whole lot of stress if we just... We, we've already got a lot of ion here. If we just squeezed in some engines, like two more engines, it might not add that much more hull stress. Of course, if we forego lots and lots and lots of storage... Um... Well, container stress is actually separate from regular hull stress, so I don't know how much better off we could be. We would actually have to add um, a heat exchanger and two condenser turbines to support each new engine as well. So I don't know if we could pull that off. Might be a fun little diversion. Alright, uh, let's get our scaffolders over here. At 500 I don't think it's viable. Yeah, we could maybe get three engines? I don't think it's worth it. Speaking of tweaking things, uh, I made a couple of little changes to Pentium. Um, oh, that's right. I want to send the outposter over here. Uh, outposter. We're going to Pentium. Because it turns out we don't have any uh, storage chests at Pentium, so I don't know where it, our bots have gone. Don't tell me they, like, crashed and destroyed what they were carrying or something. I, I deleted a few of the core mining drills because we were bottlenecking on... Um, I think we were bottlenecking on the cannons anyway. So it's obviously a lot more energy efficient if we don't have too many drills in that case. Why is this still here on this belt? It is con oh. Well that doesn't help anything. I wonder if we've got a similar mistake over here. No, this looks okay. 
Um, yeah, so we're sending the outposter back to Pentium just to add some storage chests and stuff. Um, there's our bots with the drills just hovering until the end of time. I'm stuck on spaceship automation signals. Can you do a quick overview? Namely the signal clamps and how you do the signals for the brick shuttles? Uh, sure. Uh, so there is something that I do with the spaceship clamps that's not strictly necessary. I like to, I just like to keep it simple. This one's trying to take off. It doesn't have enough fuel yet. That's fine. Um. Yeah, this is actually, I was considering making it so that we have like eight different resources in one of these blocks. Um, but this right here the uh, the rate at which we can refuel these things made me decide to keep the double shuttles. Okay, so you don't have to do it with the same number clamped to the same number, but I just like to do that to keep it simple. Um, so what we've got here, these two are actually irrelevant, but I'm going to keep them anyway, partly for symmetry. Uh... Anchor using spaceship right clamp refers to this one, and anchor anchor to target left clamp refers to this one. I've set them all to the same number, so a hundred for the iron plate brick shuttles. And I think you just need to be feeding this signal to the input of the spaceship console at the time that it arrives in. Uh, like at its destination where it would normally ask you to manually um, anchor. I've been trying the, trying the same number but no luck so far. Uh, is it possible that the that there's something blocking the spaceship from landing? Is it already at its destination so that you could manually say anchor? I don't think you have to be feeding it a destination signal, it does remember that. Because we just feed it the destination signal when we tell it to launch with the brick shuttles. I had it set to the clamps, so I didn't have a combinator with that signal on, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think while the ship is in flight, when it gets to its destination, it needs to receive uh, anchor using anchor 2. I don't think it's going to remember. A anything that you see on the spaceship console signal output... Um is either just reading something, or uh, the, the planet ID that you're sending it to, it's going to remember. Um, I think the speed signal, if you're going to use that, you need to send it all the time. So it's not going to remember a target speed if you, like, pulse it in or something. Not that the uh, spaceship consoles like pulses. Where's our spaceships? It, it mentions somewhere not to pulse things. That it takes like a second to read everything. Um... Spaceship clamps? Oh yeah, never mind. There it is. The console only checks for changes to the input signal every second. The sustained signal is required for the ship to react. Single tick pulses will not work. But when I said pulse, what I really meant is just briefly sending it a signal. Like, not necessarily one tick. How are you doing the launch from Nalvis Orbit? Uh, commands? 
I'm doing some wires from the chests and tanks to deciders. Yep, uh, so for the launches, we've got... Uh, we're reading what's in the shuttle. Uh, and that goes to the clamp on the green wire. And then we say if copper plate greater than or equal to completely full, output everything input count. And everything includes this uh, constant combinator that has spaceship, uh, spaceship launch with a destination. Uh, the output there goes to the red wire, which goes to... Okay, this one's hard to see. Um, the red wire here goes... That's weird. We're missing a wire here. We're missing... Yeah, these wires are messed up. Um, I want to make sure I make it this, do it all the same. That's gonna copy the. I'm just gonna do this and then. Copy paste the clamp settings and then change this back to steel. Well, no wonder this one was never in motion. Which one is this? Steel shuttle one. Let's check steel two. Considering it made it here, I think this one's totally fine. So yeah. We've got a red wire uh, on either clamp that links to the input for the spaceship console. And on the green wire, we've got the contents of the chests and liquid rocket fuel. Um, so on the green wire, we input to this and we say when steel equals zero, pass through everything, which includes launch and go to Nalvis. And on the opposite end, it's just the same, but other way around. Uh, we're also using this to limit the amount of liquid rocket fuel we put in the tanks in Nalvis orbit, uh, because it costs a little bit more up here, because we have to either produce it up here with no productivity bonus, or we need to ship it up here. Um... I still need to fix this. Okay. Why don't we send our spiders all the way over there to fix that before I forget again. And then we'll bring them straight back. And I'll just do some... So are you counting that fuel is full on Nalvis before launch? I don't really have to, um, but I could do that. There's just enough fuel uh, for the shuttles. There's just a bit more than enough fuel for the shuttles to launch and get to orbit. Uh, even if they somehow had nothing but fumes as soon as they finished launching, they would still get to orbit, it would just take a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, like, the amount of fuel that it takes to get fr after launching to Nalvis orbit is so small that literally just the amount that you pump in in the second that it takes to take off is going to be enough. It won't launch if low on fuel anyway, that's correct. So once it's got enough to launch, it'll coast to orbit no issues. Yeah, if you somehow launch it with, like, precisely the amount that it takes to get off of, um, off of Nalvis, 
I actually was doing this at first with the old uh, rail tanker. I didn't give it any liquid rocket fuel. Or rather, I, I didn't get a, give it liquid rocket engines. Um, and I think it took 15 minutes. There's like a minimum speed that it can magi magically go with no fuel. Um, I think it took 15 minutes to go from Nalvis to Nalvis orbit, which was fine for the time. But of course it wasn't much trouble to add some uh, engines to it, so I ended up doing that. Alright, which block are we designing here? Uh, radiation shielding data requires four inputs. Material testing pack is faster, but it's still quite slow. Uh, recycling both iridium plate and U-235, and outputting contaminated scrap. There's no fluids involved. I might have a block I can copy-paste edit for that. Explosion shielding data is much the same, but with 20 explosives as well. And also heavy girders. Um, plate testing pack, blank data card. And instead of girders, it's uranium or vice versa, but also explosives. Am I... I think this might be the same... pretty much the same pattern as what we just did. Uh, we've got 111110, 111420. And we're recycling heavy girder and iridium and we're outputting scrap and there's no fluid output this time or fluid input yeah i think this i think explosion shielding data is pretty much just an easier ballistic shielding data although the uh the explosive consumption is going to be even faster than firearm magazines So that might be a problem. Let's have a look. Oh, is it the same machines? Uh, thermodynamic facilities. All right. Let's copy paste this for starters. I'll turn off the input stations for the copy paste and that way I won't have to watch the constant combinators like a hawk. Um, I kind of want to put it next to each other if they're going to have, like, the exact same layout. So let's get our scaffolding spiders down here. And I think we'll just commit to putting explosion shielding data here anyway. What the? I was... What? Why is there scrap in my... Huh? Add tag. Explosion sh Explosion shielding data. Can hardly see. Alright, that should be fine. How's our ammo looking? It's not enough iron. How is there not enough iron? Okay, so the shuttles are in motion. And we've stopped using the cargo landing pad. I believe. Iron plate. Uh, I kind of wish I had kept the icons for where these things go. 
Um, so I know which ones we've retired. I don't strictly remember. I'm pretty sure Iron Plate was here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we have retired the Iron Plate uh, cargo rocket. Are we actually bottlenecking on the bots loading this stuff? Or how many trains can we bring in here? Three at a time. Did I make more than two iron shuttles? Iron shuttle. Wait, what? Iron plate shuttle. I need two more. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Um, but I'll have to wait till these two take off. Where is our spaceship builder? Here we go. Thanks, I think I have it working now. Now to build up a fleet of tugboats to move some stuff around. The first shuttle I made has the job of moving 50,000 rocket segments from orbit back to Nelvis. Nice. Happy I could help. Uh, let's copy paste this since it's going to be exactly identical. And why are we not taking off? Because there's not enough iron plate. Um, this might be a bad idea, but I could build two iron shuttles in this block. Wait, is this one still not taking off? Input signals. It's not receiving any steel as an input. Why not? We've got the green wire... Got 76,000. Okay. The green wire is connected to the clamp wire pass-through. It's just not receiving steel as an input here somehow. Uh, Hacker Games, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, 76k, we definitely have all of these chests connected to each other. Um, I can see 76k here, just not here for some reason. I think we probably just need to, like, delete and replace this clamp or something. There's probably something fucky with the, the weird little entities like spaceship clamp pass through. Yeah, see, now we're receiving 76,000, um... Uh, steel on this thing. Now it's gonna take off. Okay. Um, I think it'll be okay if we... If we build a couple of iron shuttles... I keep saying ion, I mean to say iron. Uh, if we build one where the steel goes and one where the stone brick goes. It... Oh, I didn't get... Uh, okay. Uh, brick shuttle. Uh, then the steel shuttle will be able to land here. Brick shuttle will be able to land here. Except it seems like it's actually iron plate itself that might be the problem? That doesn't sound right. We've got 124,000 iron plate here. 
Uh, 98,000 here. 167,000 here. That's more than there should be. 154k. And 111k. Yeah, I don't think iron supply is a problem right now. So why are we not seeing more trains? Okay, this one's coming, actually. What about this one? It's coming to the same place. And so is this one. I think we could bump up the train limit even. Okay. Um, let's finish building our new shuttles. I think we mostly just need to have iron shuttles sitting here while the other two are in orbit. Delete all the excess wires. And then copy the settings across. We're going to have to manually launch them when they've got their iron plate, though. Because this is where that logic comes from. I wonder how much the devs from Dyson Sphere program were influenced by SE? I'm sure there's plenty of cross-pollination. I could... it'd be a terrible waste of fuel, but I could even get these things to take off with Destination Nalvis and they would teleport back to here. We're not going to do that. Okay, so the iron is flowing. We need to remember to... Um... manually take off our iron plate shuttles. Let's make sure we name them according to convention. Whoops. So this one is gonna be number three. And this one is number four. Where's our spider... spider gang? Oh, they're up... they're up there. Okay, cool. Right, so we're gonna copy-paste this. Let's make sure the whole area is revealed. We're gonna turn the input stations back on. We're going to remember that uh, lubricant thing. We're going to wonder why the lubricant shuttle isn't here yet. Let me just add that symbol as well. Lubricant goes here. Uh, because it's just not full yet. I suppose. If there is no free docking clamp, i.e. there is already a shuttle unloading, will they just queue up in space? Yes. To act kind of like... Do not land unless there is need for it. The rocket equivalent of launch on cargo pad empty. Yeah. Uh, it's actually incredibly convenient. You've got effectively infinite storage um, as they hover in space. Okay. Uh, how is it that we haven't built this up with lubricant yet? Oh, um, we're not going to... Train limit isn't going to matter. 
if our limit is like two trains worth storage here. Uh, I am curious though, are we actually low on lubricant? That's concerning. I still haven't made a new block for oil production with bigger beacons. We've got one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight blocks, nine, ten blocks with tier three uh, modules and regular beacons. This could definitely be a bit more UPS efficient. And we've also got two for coal liquefaction. Sweet, I'm going to be building so many spaceships and pads and unloads and loads all night, indeed. Uh, where are our spiders? Oh, wait. Before we get the spiders down here, this is actually kind of fortuitous. Uh, in order to make explosion shielding data, we require thermodynamics facilities. And we're going to do the same pattern for the input-output, even if there is no um, no fluid involved this time. Alright, bring in the spiders. And we'll change the recipes around and have a play with the rate calculator and see what it looks like. I suspect it's not going to be this easy. Uh, explosion shielding data. I'm going to put in some tier 3 modules. Thermodynamics facility. Wait, that doesn't go there. Copy paste this a few times. And this. Easy to play around with rate calculator if we've just got everything there. Let's move the spider's legs out of the way as they do that little dance. How's our iron shuttle looking? Hmm. Oh, this one must have just arrived. The fact that we've got four of them here is going to really slow down uh, filling this one up in particular, but I think I think we'll manage. We've got so many iron plate trains on the way here right now. All right, so in each half, I, I but, okay, eight hundred. <laughs> 870 explosives per second. 435 scrap per second. That's a bit much. Uh. Uh. Everything else is looking pretty reasonable. It's just the scrap and explosives is off the charts. With that kind of scrap output, 13.6 per second per machine, um, 
I'm seriously considering the kind of layout where we put the scrap directly into trains again. That's weird. Why did we not have speed modules here? Well, we could easily speed this up when we want to. Um... Well, that means... Hold on, that means these two recipes aren't as different as I thought. Uh... 50 scrap in 24 seconds. 50 over 24. 2.8 per second versus 42. Oh, uh, wait, no. 1.5 over 200. Uh, sorry, 1.5 thousand. Seven point. This is still a lot faster. Anyway, uh, we definitely won't be doing this layout. 13.6 scrap per second per machine. What should we do? There's no fluids involved this time. 27.2 explosives per second per machine. That's a lot. I wonder if we could do something like this, but also a direct delivery for the explosives. If there's only four machines on each side... Well, let's, um, let's do a little deconstruction planner, and we're going to keep space rail, signals, uh, train stops, I guess. Blacklist. Oh, and I meant to include uh, pylons. Beautiful. We still don't have any research. What's going on with that? Energy three. Energy... I know we've actually produced Energy 3. There's none in the chest. Oh, you're, you're joking. I just forgot to remove the condition on this thing. And once that goes... Wait, no, that's for Energy 2. That kind of... We've got 200, sorry, 756 energy 3 here. What? We're not making more because there's no significant data, because there's no insight, because there's no tier 2 energy catalog. Oh. Well, that's embarrassing. Let's send our spiders back up. But I'm also curious as to why this wasn't picked up. We've got... Provide stack threshold 5. There's like three and a half stacks here. Well, closer to four stacks. Okay. We got so close to getting just a little bit of research done before that lack of a belt stopped everything as well. Okay. 
if we perhaps build something, we're not going to need fluids, but I want to have the direct strap into the trains. Um, if we have something a little bit, train stop is in the way, a little bit like this. I need the spiders back here. No, don't take their stuff. It's gonna return anything that doesn't belong here to the uh to the trash anyway. Check on our iron shuttles while that's happening. Oh, this one took off. Fantastic. What about this one? It's taking its sweet time. Because the bots are filling all of these up evenly. It does show us just how much... Um, just how much iron plate we've got coming in, though. At this rate, I'm just going to launch one of these first. Before uh, number two. Okay. That's fine, I suppose. Oh, I've actually got some machines here. That helps. Okay. Uh, we're looking at explosion shielding data. We're not going to need any pipes. Let's get some speed modules in here. How fast is this going to be? 16 scrap per second. Or well, more importantly, the inputs, I think. 32 explosives per second per machine. That's 128. Three belts just for each side. Um, I don't think we can set it up so that we quickly direct insert with a train here. Scrap is still by far our quickest output. Um, let's do a decent planner for the pipes. Not gonna need any of those here. There's a train coming. It's already picked up the steel. Uh, well, that can go back to the depots. That'll get recycled automatically. Switch that off. Switch this off. Switch this off. As long as it's not fluids. Um, we can sort that out just by cancelling the schedule. I think that's it. Okay, so... Material testing pack, girder, plate, card. Just gonna look at... We already got fluids here. No. Uh, I should have paid more attention to this. Sneaky fluid trains. Where can I put cosmic water? Where do we even produce that? There's the old um, block up here, but I don't think... Oh, it's all of the coal liquefaction is the new place that we produce that. And this is completely full. Hmm... We need another another place that's looking for cosmic water. This this'll do.
Let's grab a fluid train and shove it in here before... Before another one fills that in. Fluid wagon. Uh, come over here, please. Until... Uh, full cargo. Wait, what? Full cargo. And then... Come over here, and then here. And empty cargo. This this should have a name of that's a bit different. Am I gonna need to find somewhere else to put this other bit of fluid, I think? Uh let's see. How fast is the recycled stuff? It's very, very slow. That helps. Uh, I would kind of like to... If I move this a couple of tiles, what... Uh, I've I've been I've been swallowed by a thermodynamics facility. O okay, let's not do that. Um, if I move this down a couple of tiles and this one up a couple of tiles, it still lines up with these inserters. Might have trouble finding somewhere to put the beacon if I do that. Uh. I would still really like to have all of these covered by one beacon. Oh, I would need it to move it up three tiles as well. Which isn't going to work on both sides. So we can't have them just directly swap the... Uh, the recycled items. That's probably fine. We just need to... We just need to do a loop for that. So we're going to do whitelist. Scrap goes in here. Um, how fast is everything else? 1.6 plus 0.8 plus 0.8. Uh, probably no matter how fast we make this go, we could use a regular inserter, but I'd rather not find out later. Let's go for blacklist scrap. Yep. So everything but scrap goes here. And then, I think it should face the other way. What's this for? Tanks. We're not going to be using this. Get rid of this belt. Uh, we don't have an input coming from down below this time. We do have one, two, three, four, five physical inputs. All of which are very slow, except for explosives, which is very, very fast. Hmm. Wait, why is this plus 200%? How many cards would we get out of this? 12.8. Probably don't have to go that fast. I think I just want to shape this to support as much explosive input as possible. 
and then we'll use the module speed based on that. Part 139, impressive. Can you tell how much time you spent on this? Uh, we're approaching a month. Yeah. Space exploration is pretty big. And I'm not trying to speedrun it. I do like to take my time and... If I have... If I suddenly have an idea for a... A clever circuit or something. I'm gonna stop and do that. I've redesigned the Omni Smelters twice in this playthrough. Uh, let's just get rid of all of this. It's just gonna confuse us for now. Good day, Undead Hunter. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is there really no way... It's just one tile off, which is the maximum number of tiles off for this purpose. Um, I would love to have direct insertion of explosives from train to, to container to... Um, Thermodynamics facility here, but that's not happening. Also destroyed the first base, such a loss. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I think we'll have these belts going up this way. And then we're going to filter well first of all we're just going to merge them over here like so uh is that going to be the right side of the belt no it's not i could maybe I don't like the way that's going to look. Uh, so maybe like that. Alright. Uh, iron plate and... Sorry. Girder and iridium plate. That's what we need to recycle here. It's going to look something like this. Final product goes this way. And iridium plate or girder goes on either side of this belt. We're going to need another many item pickup for the low throughput but many types of item stuff. So this goes here. Um, I think we'll be swapping which is which. Well, I mean, we'll definitely be doing that, but it won't be these four items, will it? Testing pack, girder, iridium plate, blank data card. That's actually exactly what this is. Um, but I want the iridium plate and girders on this belt. So what we're going to do is... This. And I just realized that's not good enough. Um, we need to preserve which is on which side of the belt here. Okay, so iridium plate on this side. That is backwards. Uh, so how about like this? Iridium plate goes here. Iridium plate goes here. That is the north side if it's facing left. Girders go on the south side. 
girders go on the south side. Fantastic. Uh, and then... How far can this... Wait, could we actually... Could we fit four of these under... Eight of these under one beacon? Nope, we're already... We're already going to be bottlenecked on the explosives. Let's not worry about fitting more machines. Um... So everything but scrap comes up here. Final product down. Iridium plate and girder this way. Uh, we need to measure... Here, how about here actually, as well. So we're not putting any more of that on the belt if it's detected here. Uh, input priority, why not? Actually, I think, I think all we need is input priority there. Okay. Didn't I send a train to pick this up? What happened to it? What are you doing here? You're empty. Okay. What are you waiting for? You're waiting for full cut. Oh, this is... This has got the same name, no doubt. Okay. Temporary stop here, and then go to the nearest station with that name, which is this one, I think. I'll just make absolutely sure. And then temporary stop here, and then nearest station with that name. That should get the job done. Oh, we got some research. Fantastic. What if we unlocked a quantum processor? Which is somewhat cheap. We have to make it in a space manufactory, so no, no thought on productivity bonuses for that one. At least that means we don't have to send data down to Nalvis. Supercomputer 2 is coming. Universal Simulation is coming. Very exciting. Go on, get... Wait, what? Hold on. What? What? No, stop. Why are you not full of fluid? Oh, don't tell me. There wasn't a condition on this. Okay. Um, can I get you... To come back here for a second. Also, I don't think we need this, uh, this bit copy pasted. What? Remind yourself what? that what? overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. What are you doing? I'm just gonna say inactivity. For this one. Full cargo doesn't seem to be doing the job. Okay. Finally. And it's actually completely full. How... Oh, because we re because we we received exactly a hundred k, and it didn't go anywhere. I'm surprised the haphazard deconstruction of the pipes didn't lose a bit of it. Uh, anyway, let's remove that. We need to do the same thing to get rid of this uh, cosmic water. Or I could just mark it as a super high priority pickup. And provide threshold one. 
work of robot speed research is underway. Very, very nice. Um, okay, so these four are coming in from here. There's no fluid required. I, I could actually put this up here. We're probably going to do that again because... Because we need as much throughput as we can get on the other side. But I was considering having additional train stops to output the explosives. Might be a good idea. Uh, to input the explosives, rather. Repetitive beats. Uh, did I say hello to you already today? Yeah, I did. Not well, thanks for the yay, anyway. Okay. Nope. How much explosives? 256 per second. I wonder how much we can get... Let's just put this here for a second. I know this part isn't going to work out the same way. Um, we've got 180 per second here, but that was with, like, smaller stack sizes and stuff. 256 per second. is just under 1.5 times as fast. I believe with maximum stack size, it's actually four inserters that it takes uh, to keep up with a, a blue belt, or a space belt for that matter. If I abandon trying to keep the inserters all swinging at the same time perfectly. Uh, could we maybe... Could we maybe reach 256 with just one station? Do I even want to do that? It seems like it would be easier, better, question mark. Uh, to maybe have... There isn't really room. What if I do a station down here somewhere? One, two, three, f one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, the train would probably have to stick out here and block other trains. If I put it here, maybe. That is just barely not going to work. Can I move this station up a couple of times? Let's say we use uh, this design. I could move the constant combinator a little bit. And I could cut paste this. Clap, clap. Oh. Uh. We're gonna need to move this a little bit, but I think that might be okay. Uh. By Cal. Thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Um, so here we could have 
Even if we don't come up with a new unloader, we could have 360 explosives per second. The only question is... Well, yeah, we could just do one belt to each machine. That's a lot. Bring this over here. Well, this is a lot of speed modules. That's probably fine. Um, I'll just cut paste this to keep it for later until we decide exactly where that's going to go. So, if we have... Let's just scroll through this. Okay, if this one goes here... It's going to be awkward getting the belts up here, but otherwise I think that could work. We could have these belts go through here and up this way, and this one could actually go to the left side. So we'll go with this one. Once again, I'll have to move the undergrounds a little bit. Bit, but I don't think it's going to be much of a problem. That's very snug. I might just put the constant combinator in this little spot here. And the idea is one belt, two belt. Three belt, four. Just drawing that out. This is not final, it's just sort of telling us where things go. And... We need a straight one. That goes there. That's not going to reach. Let's just draw this out. One. Three and four. And I have no idea how this uh, output station is going to look. Maybe something like this. Oh wait, no, we've already got the scrap output stations up here, and the only other output station is going to be the... Yeah, that was the old input. Okay, so that's not going to be a problem. Alright, so then we just have to fit all of the slow inputs around the explosives. And vice versa. Um, this one is going to go this way. That doesn't work anymore. Wait, what? How did it work the other way around? That goes there, that... it didn't, that's why. Okay, then. Um, should I use a splitter? This goes on this side, this goes on this side. Yeah, that's right. Um, wait, what's the rate for all of this? 
6.4 plus 12.8 plus 6.4. 25.6. I could actually put the filter for these two first. It wouldn't matter. But I don't see any point. We'll just bring this over here. And output down the middle somewhere, perhaps. And we'll figure out where this one's going to fit. That's going to go up here. And actually, this is where we ended up, where we're going to end up putting this belt input. Oddly enough. So we're going to input priority on the left. That's going to be girders and iridium plate. The iridium plate goes on the southern, on, on the right side of the belt. Girders on the left. Iridium plate on the right, girders on the left, fantastic. Um, that's looking pretty good, actually. So we just have to squeeze in the very slow inputs around the explosives. How many uh, inserters do we need? for the explosives. At least two. It is slower when it's picking up off of belt. Way, way, way slower if it's a stack inserter. Actually, probably a pretty good rule of thumb is pretend a stack inserter is a fast inserter if it's taking off a of belt. We would need five? Okay, maybe not that severe. Um, let's upgrade these. We're going to need two or three. Let's suppose it's three. And we're going to need two belts. We don't need this rail here. Um, we're going to need two belts of input for the other four resources. Hmm. I think I'll put those two together, actually. Uh, considering they have to be two separate belts, that might not help anything. Why are the bots hovering like this again? I don't see any of these spiders being overly full. Anyway, I don't think that's... I don't necessarily know if that's why they're doing this. Suppose we do these on the outside, and we'll have long arm inserter, fast inserter. How is this going to get there? The train stop might be a problem.
By might, I mean is, probably. Easily jump over this. So, probably, hopefully, something similar over here, but train stuff's gonna be very much in the way. do this. Maybe... maybe the inputs should come from here, actually. That might be a lot better. Uh, we're just gonna need a couple of inserters, like so. How are we gonna jump through this stuff? Maybe we're just not going to do it like that. It could come from the other side. Okay. So we've removed this. And then... That's going to be a bit of a problem. It could come from over here. Yeah, the shape of the belt won't matter, because... Those four resources are really, really slow. Like, a lot less than half a belt for any one of them. Oh, except for material testing packs. Huh. Material testing packs are actually way faster than expected here. Although this would be for 12 cards per second. Hmm. It's actually five stacks of testing packs per second. It's double what we can fit with this input with the layout that we've got already. I could put another drop-off here for material testing packs. We could do 90 per second there, I think. Quite easily. This build is turning in into such a mess. Fair having such a high throughput of scrap out and explosives in. Okay, um, this would have to be underground. This would go here, ish, something like that. It might be better if we do this filtering a bit further out. Let's just put our filter inserters in place so we know what's what. After all that, I can't believe I didn't notice how much faster material testing packs are. We could still do... well, no we can't. This is actually more than half a belt. Hmm. 
If we do material testing packs here, maybe I should somewhat scrap what I've got and start from more of a clean slate. I do want to do the direct insertion to get rid of the scrap. It is going to be very fast. Maybe I shouldn't be going for 256 explosives required per second here. Um, we'll go for the usual negative 70% power consumption. It's still 217. 43 material testing packs per second at least means that we just need one belt of that stuff, which means on each side we need half a belt. Um, this is only going to be half a belt. Unless... well, no. I could add more of these here. In fact, I probably should, just because of the tiny stack size of these things. Um... Not there. Let's delete that because we need to update some wires a bit here. It's still going to bottleneck on half a belt though. There's no way I just do this again, is there? Yeah, there is. In fact, that would mean these two stations are the same. Uh, okay. I think we'll do that. And then this can go to here. Probably move that up so that this could squeeze through here, maybe. It's going to be a bit ugly, but very functional. Just for consistency. Get rid of that. Oh, this would need a splitter, actually. Mm -hmm. But what I was thinking was bringing this through here like so. This could go here, down to here, except we can't fit a splitter. Or a splitter in an underground, because this can only jump five tiles. Do we really need... yeah, we kind of do. Also, also, at this point we're only recycling to one side. I don't know if that's a problem or not. It will be if we are balanced unloading scrap which I think we kind of have to so if this hmm, we could split this and bring this back here I think that might be okay
We can bring these together now that... Um, that's actually not that good. I think it might look a bit neater if we do it like this. So this goes here, this goes here. Goes there, and that goes there. We've got testing packs on this side. It doesn't matter which one's the long arm, right? And we don't actually have to split this. We can split it before that. So that goes through there. Uh, we're going to need a couple of splitters here. That's slightly too far to jump through. Uh, I could move it apart a couple of tiles. I'd have to change this one as well. That might be okay. So this is going to go up here. And spaghetti. Very nice. Um, that is looking good. I'll just double check. The whole side here just needs half a belt of material testing pack and everything else is considerably less. Okay. So, testing pack. Does it matter which is which? I don't think so. Well, testing pack is faster, so let's do it on... 5.4 per second. Maybe this should be a stack instead of... Uh, so testing pack, along with a uh, blank data card, is going to go on the close side, which is here. And the long one goes here. Um, I need to recycle... Let's get rid of this part for now. And we can make this bit a little bit less spaghetti. In fact, that can just go over there. Don't know where this is supposed to be going. That was something else, actually. That part's probably fine, I think. I'm just going to leave this here. Right now. Okay, um, let's copy explosives, so we don't forget what this is for. So 
So what I want to do now is split this. I guess it would be more economical to put the items on the correct sides of the belt before splitting. Yeah. Where would be the neatest place to do this? I think I can remove this for now and we'll build around the other stuff. So this is going to go here and then we're going to split again going to bring... Doop -de -doop. Hey, we got faster robots. Nice. Uh, we'll bring this up here, I think. And spaghetti through there. I just have to check again which side Iridium plate goes on. Iridium plate on the right, girders on the left. Okay, that's true. that should be fine. So half of the recycled stuff is going to go as if it was coming from this station. And half of it is going to come down here. That's actually very convenient. Uh, as if it was coming from this station. Oh wait, that's the wrong. That's the that's. No, that's right. Iridium plate and girder. Is the slow one. Blank data card is also slow, but more importantly, uh, testing packs are fast. So they go here, as opposed to here. Uh, this is going to go here, and this is going to go here. And we'll be needing some some explosives. I guess they have to squeeze through here. That's actually a great fit. This one will be a little bit different. Perfect. Actually, not so perfect. I think I like this better than the alternative. Okay. So we're not going to need this uh, priority input thing here. We are going to need to priority input. That's priority output. Priority input this one. And we need to bring these inputs to this side. We've got a pretty good idea of what the Explosive input is going to look like. Uh, let's do something similar on this end. I don't know if we'll be... We won't be squeezing through there. The beacon's in the way. And we've got all this room over here. Um, but let's perhaps... Okay, this belt might change. Welcome to the logistical hell, indeed. I thought I redid this so that the uh, undergrounds were one tile up. What happened?
Okay. That's not going to reach right. Oh, yep, yeah, perfect. Good enough. Uh, we want our iridium stuff here. And... I kind of don't like that very much, actually. Why don't we just bring this up a tile for the aesthetic? Because this is going to be in the way. Let's fix that. And I might just remove this whole thing in the short term. Okay, so we're going to split. Which one's which? This is the fast one. I'm going to split the fast one here. And it's going to make it awkward to send the slow one over here. Could I do them the other way around? No, no, it doesn't make any difference if I put the... Okay. Let's just do this. And... Clap, clap. That reminds me, we've got those iron shuttles that we need to manually launch. Let's get rid of our reminder and set this thing to Nalvis Orbit. Away you go. And away you go. Fantastic. And meanwhile we've been recycling iron because there was too much of it in this block. Whoops. Okay. It's coming together. We'll get there. Don't get hit by a train. Uh, so we, we are needing spiders to move out of the way. We'll need some... Slow belt over here. Oh wait, I think I got it backwards, which is good in this instance. So this is the fast one. Yeah, because this actually goes to the other side. Uh, which means this is the slow one. Which means putting a splitter here is very convenient. And we can just do something like this. That's much neater. kind of like a regular bus. Uh, okay, so slow one. This will be a bit different. Slow one goes here. Why is that belt backward? And fast one goes here. Very nice. That's a perfect fit. Love it. And then whatever looks most consistent. Probably something like this, actually. Uh, this one will actually have to cross over. We'll just do it like this. It's actually super inconvenient. 
the aesthetic of these bits of belt here. Um, actually, we can just cross that over like that. That's no problem. Okay. Uh, let's go for this. And... Why is this backward again? this and so on uh where are you going Just do that like so, and this one like so. Okay, I think we're almost there. Let's add some more undergrounds for this part. That doesn't look quite right. Wait, do we have an opportunity to... make this look a bit neater? That's probably more like it. I feel like that's more consistent. Oh! We don't use regular signals for this anymore. We still haven't had a train come and pick up this uh, water. Do we have 100k that we could fit in here? It's like 7,000 times 8. About 56,000. How much is actually sitting in here? 12k times 8. That's too much. Is there somewhere else we could shove some cosmic water? 80,000 here? We could have... we could have it go to two different drop-offs. Let's do that. Blue Dragon. I summon you. We're missing some... are we missing some rail here? I think the train can actually get there, otherwise it wouldn't have shown that path, but still. Alright. Temporary stop. And then go here. And then wait for inactivity. And then... Uh, here, I think. And then go here. And wait for inactivity. I wish it would keep it in the order that I'm adding it. And where else can we drop off this fluid? The exact same spot in the next block. And the next one. Oh, this one's actually... No, I thought it was almost empty for a second there. That's actually the pump. Dropping things into it. This one's way more empty. Okay, where's that train? That's not it. Oh, you got here fast. Okay, then. Uh, so after that one... Go... No, don't go there now. <sighs> which... Which station were you at? This one? Okay. And then, last but not least... Wait for inactivity... Wait for inactivity... Wait for inactivity... Actually, those... Those ones don't need it, but... That should be fine. Uh, 
All right. Step one, we got rid of our... Well, almost all of our cosmic water. I'm going to call that done. Step two, head to this temporary stop. Step three, go to the nearest stop with that name, which is right in front of you. Traffic. What was that? An iron plate drop off? How much ammo do we have now? Uh, quite a lot, I think. Products finished. Four. That's not what I was expecting. Why would we only finish four? Pro Why is this set to blacklist? Oh, no. Um... That should be set to whitelist. It's going to be hard to make sure we get them all. Let's, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. What did I miss? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I think we can just copy paste like so. That should get all of them going. And unless I take the time to go and pick up this little bit of data and scrap that's in all of these chests, it's going to be sitting there forever. Um, but that is our ballistic shielding data, I think. Fantastic. I forgot to check in on our fluid wagon. Oh, it's still... It's still pumping this. It's waiting for inactivity, and it's pumping, like, 0 0.1 fluid per second. Let's just go to the next one. And make sure it drops it off in the right spot. Well, that'll work. Fantastic, we got rid of it. Back to the depot with you. Alright. Um, I kind of don't know... ...what I need to double check here right now. Uh, we've got our output. That doesn't go anywhere for the moment, actually. I think we'll just have it go around all of this stuff. Keep it simple. Okay, I, if there's any bugs in the system, I don't think we're going to catch it before we actually try it. Uh, let's set up our stations. So we're looking for... What are we looking for? A lot of explosives. We can fit 7.2 train loads. Let's go for 6. Uh, which would be... 48,000. Uh, we need 
need the same number of Iridium and blank data card as last time, and we're going to double our material testing packs. Energy shield, nice. And we've finished all of our queued research for the moment. Um, I think I might just copy this for starters. Switch it off. So, firearm magazine is going to become explosives. These three are going to stay the same. We're going to double 1760. Uh, 3520. For material testing packs. And it was 64k for explosives, wasn't it? No, 48,000. Um, I'll just update the station name. Explosives. Iridium things. Blank data card and testing pack. Oh, we've already got a train coming. Wait, what? Why is it yellow if there's no... I just changed the name when there's a train coming, didn't I? Um... Um... Where did I copy this from originally? Up here? That's fine, I just need it to... I just need to update so it goes to that station. Bluffy Kitten Mika, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I think we're good to go here. I don't know if I want to bother doubling this just yet. Uh, especially because there's going to be a bunch of asymmetrical stuff that's going to be a pain to copy and everything. Apart from the fact that we... Um, may not need the throughput for a long time. So I'm just going to leave this as it is. And leave the very obvious bit of rail showing that we can double this. Sire, the granary is low on data cards, my lord. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, I need to copy uh, this over here. Bots are having a party. Did we get our... Yeah, we did. Alright. I need to bump up... Oh, the train limit is also is already five. That should be fine. Okay, um, I think I'm going to take a short break. That was a bit of a ordeal. Place your bets on what bugs remain in this system. And we'll come back in a few minutes and hopefully see what that turns out to be. Actually.
Okay, what do we have here? Uh, we've got heavy girders and iridium plate. I see blank data cards on this side. Uh, we're not going to overload, right? No, we should be fine. Reinforcements have arrived. There should be a train or two waiting. Oh, this one's trying to pick up uh, scrap. We need signals over here. And that can be a chain signal. 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 Why is this lone signal here? We've got a nice queue of trains waiting to unload here. There's our blank data cards for the right side. Uh, what about explosives? We do have explosives. Okay, cool. Send our construction spiders up this way and down here. And then... I was going to say back to the mall, but there might we might need them for something. Let's send the scaffolding spiders back to the mall, though. So what are we missing here? Just material testing pack, which is waiting its turn already. Girders are coming in on this side. And we still need iridium plate. And testing packs here. Iridium plate is waiting its turn already. Testing packs are waiting their turn. Fantastic. So initially we're definitely not keeping up with the trains inputting, but some of these resources are really slow. Uh, in fact most of them are really slow. So, it probably is fine overall. I love how these uh, rail, box, rail blocks work out quite well organically with stackers everywhere. Um, it's pretty effective. So what's our net consumption for girders? It's only 5.4 per second. And iridium plate, it's the same. Uh, material testing pack is... Let's see. Uh, eight and a half stacks per second. And this is like four and a half stacks per second. Hmm. Except material testing pack is uh, one inserter swing per stack. So having this many inserters is probably fine for that. Okay, finally... I was going to say finally it's time for the material testing packs to come in, but we've got the iridium plate pushing in. Hold on. What? 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 Oh no. Oh no 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 no. 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 Back to the mall with you. That's my bad. Did I connect this one? I did not. I also... Forgot to connect this on this side. And what about up here? We've got a similar lack of wiring. Mm. 
Okay. I think we're not about to have the same problem with plate here. That's good. Um, custom packs should be fine. Okay. This one is just missing testing packs now. And this one is actually complete. Wait, there's no explosives here yet. My bad. Okay. And explosives are waiting for this one as well. We do have a balanced loader um, to put scrap into these chests. So we do need both sides to be working, for either side to be working more than a little bit. One chest is missing in the network. Do you mean the circuit wire? This one looks okay. On the left side. No, I think it's fine. Looks like. Sorry, my fault. No worries. It It is really hard to see. I mean, this doesn't look like it's connected. Alright. Testing pack is not here. Explosives are not here. They're so close on each side. ST Canyon, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Here it comes. Last two trains to get th get the whole thing started. Uh, thank you for the follow, Geeksa, Geeksta as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. That, of course, didn't... Whoa! That actually looked like it was going to collide. I know better than to think they're going to collide, but viscerally, that was, uh, that was a bit much. Probably missed this a million times, but what's the mod pack's name, if any? Uh, most of it is Space Exploration. Uh, some parts of it you can get piecemeal, like uh, if you just want the jetpack, for example. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, you're looking for space exploration. And... I believe that is... Oh, oh, is this extra blank data cards? Yeah, it is. We may as well let, let it fill up and then we'll send it back to the depot. This one seemed to have emptied more, which it shouldn't have. I forgot to connect these. That might cause some problems later as well. Unless I do an even distribution, which uh, I guess I could. Let's bring this over here. Um, I'm just gonna cheat a little bit. 
bump up the even distribution delay to two seconds. And we're going to go testing pack, testing pack, testing pack, and testing pack. One, two. Oh, it's more like four seconds because of the UPS. All right, gutters. Uh, iridium plate. And last but not least is blank data cards. So we know this one's balanced and it will remain that way. Blank data cards should already be close enough to perfectly balanced over here. So material testing pack. Uh, I was going to say blank data cards. Um, iridium plate. And last but not least is gutters. Which have been shoved into my trash. Lovely. Okay, I don't see machines in motion. I see two machines in motion. Oh, I see more. I see most of them. We're waiting to output. Uh-oh. Uh, minor detail. I forgot to include output for this one, and probably the same thing on the other side. Which is actually going to block everything because of how we balanced unload. Typically discover mods by using the game's Opening menu item for mods? Uh, do you mean like the... Yeah, the Factorio's in-game mod management stuff is very good. Okay, seems to be working. And our recycled stuff is... Queuing up here. We're not going to see any more girders and plate dropped onto the belt until all of this drains away. We've got a similar thing over here, effectively. I think we did only need a couple of stack inserters, the explosives. But yeah, that's working quite well. Nice. And we've already got uh, 200, I almost said 700, that would have been a little bit of a surprise. Uh, 200 data cards here. So I think that just leaves one more type of data card to go before we can get our tier 3 material size. We've also got universal simulation now. So rather than for the fourth time, I think, tack on this awkward thing to our existing builds, um, I would like to actually get rid of, um, well, not how we produce catalogs, that's actually perfect, but how we make, um, significant data. 
we're going to ship it all out to some rail block. And we're going to jam them all together and spit out much more significant data and fewer blank data cards. Also, we can make um, better supercomputers now. So let's maybe upgrade. We need quantum processors. How do we make quantum processors? Uh, processing unit, Holmium cable, Holmium plate, quantum phenomenon data. If I just request quantum phenomenon data, I could make them here. Which seems like a good idea, actually. Quantum phenomenon data. One train load. Don't bother delivering it unless we've run out. And um, I'll add the recipe here. Hopefully these uh, the prereqs it'll pop up before the things that it builds. Maybe 200. What does it take to make a computer? Uh, 50 quantum processors just to upgrade one supercomputer to presumably do the exact same thing but at double speed. Is there anything made in the higher tier computers that can't be made in the lower tier one? Well, wait, did that say what I think it did? 500? 500 processing units to make one supercomputer? Wow. Junk cards are more efficient at higher tiers? Okay. Well, it's going to be a little while, or, or it's just going to cost a lot um, to make some nice computers. Is this thing actually bigger, or...? Well, let's just build a few of these. Okay, so that seems to be working quite well. One of the sort of nice things about a build like this is if one machine isn't working, they all stop. Which means if you see it all moving like this, you know the whole thing works. You will eventually need higher tiers anyway. Okay, good to know. Let's send our spiders back to the mall for now. And I think I've had, I don't know, let's have a quick peek at what it takes to make the final data card. Uh, radiation shielding data. I think this one's going to be a lot more down to earth, shall we say? The fastest item is less than half of one per second if it was going full speed. Uh, I think we have a block over here where we are recycling between nuclear plants already. Do I want to steal from myself? Possibly. Quite likely. Don't have to worry about fluids with this one. Not that fluids are a problem here. Oh, there's no... Yeah, no, there is a fluid output, but it's just pipes squeezed in the middle. Uh, so we're swapping uranium and iridium plate between the machines. And we have contaminated scrap to output as well. I'm just going to turn off this input, and we'll copy-paste this. Let's 
start with that. And then turn the input station back on. Bring the poor, overworked construction spiders back as soon as they've finished uh, resupplying. And... I would love to carry a few of these myself, but when you add up all the different items, uh, inventory gets full pretty quickly. What else do we have going on while we wait for our spiders? I should probably get the shuttle builder to keep up the good work over here. So it'll be less work when we get around to needing more shuttles. I might consider sharing a couple of these quadrants for some low throughput items. Hey Royal PS2K, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. My Steam Deck arrived and the controls for Factorio are very hard to wrap my head around. Unfortunate. I hope it's uh I hope it's quite good after the learning curve. Oh, that's the wrong remote. Also, I forgot to put this here. Have you run out or no? Yes. Okay, back to the mall. Let's bring back our Constructotrons. And what are we requesting? Uh, uranium testing pack, iridium plate, blank data card. So this could be iridium plate. Uh, this will have to change a little bit. I just need to wait until we've got some machines so I can do a rate calculation to make sure half a belt of everything or maybe one belt of everything is going to be enough. Um, eight contaminated scrap for every one... Radiation shielding data. We don't need any pipes at all, actually. Let's go for... Didn't we have a pipe deconstructor somewhere? But we did. I don't think I had it in the blueprint book. I thought it was here. Don't tell me I deleted it after using it. Okay, space pipe, space pipe, space pipe, space pipe, space pipe, space pipe, and space pipe. Fantastic. So we've got two belts of input. We're only going to need two belts. So that's already laid out for us. Uh, this part is obviously going to have to change. Drive by building. We'll name the 
station while we wait for that. Uh, radiation shielding data. We're going to need a scrap pickup. Keep it simple, put it over here. Let's set our recipe. Great calculation. 17 per second, that's pretty good. Uh, net rate of 9 uranium per second. It's less than half a belt, even if we ignore that. Half a belt of blank. Two full belts of material testing pack. Okay. And half a belt of iridium plate. Hmm. I don't see a convenient way to fit half, 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 and two. Seventy one point six. Uh, eighteen point three two. So it is more than one point five belts of material testing pack. Yeah, so we need two belts of material testing pack, which leaves, which begs the question of where do we place whatever other resources squeaking through here. I'd really love to just keep this layout somehow. Also, uh, if it's two belts of testing pack, this layout just isn't going to work. Okay, could we maybe put in another train station? We're also going to need more belt. We would need um, half a belt of material testing pack for each one. So it just means we need to squeeze in another belt here. Or just rescale it to a single belt. Uh... I don't know if I feel it. We've definitely got room to expand this out to the side. I'm just going to cut like this for starters. And we need to... What's our rate for scrap plus cards for the output? Uh, wow, 143 plus 17. Uh, four belts. That's more than expected. So we would have to... We need two more belts of width here. Actually, start with this. And then... This would look something like this. So we'll need double belt outputs and some splitters so that we use both sides. Um, so this is going to be 17 plus 2, 19. Just a bit 
less than half a belt. Yeah. So we'll have a splitter there. Just for the symmetry of it, I feel like doing that with the undergrounds. I just realized, because there's no such thing as long filter inserters, this will be fine. We'll put... oh. Okay, that's slightly unfortunate, but we can fix it. So we're going to do a filter and then a long arm on each side. And we can have the wire jump across here. This one will be unconditional. And this one will be... Come to think of it, we'll be swapping two resources, right? Uranium and Iridium plate. Which means it'll have to be the uh, the nearest one. It'll have to be a filter inserter. So we're going to set filters blacklist, whatever's in this chest. And bots are going to drive me a little crazy. Uh, why are you hovering like so? We're going to filter output uranium and iridium plate, whitelist. There's a mod for long filtering inserters. Yeah, I, I've seen that, but uh, I'm going to stick to what I've committed to for this playthrough. Um, so that's going to go there, and I think we've got our layout in general. We need to move this down a bit as well, so that we can make room for another train stop. But... We can see that everything's going to fit. I think trying to edit what we've already got uh, is going to ultimately be more difficult at this point. I'll keep the beacon in place. And I'll keep, like, these four up here. Four columns. Okay, so I think we'll have to put uh, both uranium and iridium plate on this belt. So I'm going to put a constant combinator to illustrate that. Uranium and iridium plate. And that means... Testing pack and blank data card goes here. Is it going to be too slow, the long arm inserter? 2.24 per second, I think that's going to be okay. Testing pack and blank data card. Okay. So this one's unconditional, this is just reading. This one is set filters blacklist for what's in the chest already. Um, I'll just remove this so we don't get confused. And filter output is going to be the opposite. Actually, are we going to need more than a filter insider? Yes. 4.48 per second plus the radiation shielding data. Well, it says we only need three quarters of a fast inserter to keep up with this. 
I think we can just go... If I wanted to be lazy, I could go blacklist these two, but I want it to be a bit clearer what's going on here. So, whitelist, radiation shielding data, and contaminated scrap. It's gonna go there. Uh, it could go anywhere, but this is where the piping was previously. Um, let's make sure we connect these wires. Same settings. And... Same thing on the opposite side. We're going... Oh, I didn't expand this out. I'm going to need that further out so there's enough throughput for the material testing packs. On the plus side, it lets us be nice and symmetrical. These bots are really getting on my nerves. I really need to design uh, two different setups for space constructortrons. Their inventory is just way too full these days. Doesn't help that it does the uh, stack splitting. Not like with the player's inventory, where you can always count on a hundred space belt being in the one stack. Okay. So... That goes there. And that goes there. Copy the lack of settings, no condition to these long arm inserters. Set filters blacklist on the filter inserters. And over here, this goes like this. And then we can just copy-paste this over here. At least the beacon's going to be nice and snug in the middle. Uh, did I remember to move this down enough to make a new train station? I don't think so. Hmm. We had some spare space down the bottom here. Let's copy this down a few times. What's this? Be gone. So that is eight. I think it's easier if I just copy it like so and then fix the belts after the fact. Okay. This build's going to be so much cleaner than the last one. How did we end up... Oh, I see. That's fine. We could move it in one tile if we really needed to. Uh, that looks good, actually. Uh, 
Okay. Let's double check once more. That goes there. The rate that we're going to need for each resource is half a belt, half a belt, half a belt, and two belts. Let's say we put our two belts up here. So that's going to be material testing packs. could do blank data cards and one of the other half belts here. Iridium plate. I don't think there's a way to elegantly get three half belts out of this side. Well, I could always just... I, I could use the kind of drop-off that we've got here and just only use a half belt for one of these. How fast are we going to consume? Everything but the testing packs is really slow, right? And blank data cards is a lot faster than these other two. So what if we do something like... A belt of blank data cards, which will just merge into half a belt. Uh, and then uranium and iridium plate, which we want to be on the one belt anyway. Yeah, I think this will be good. So that goes there. Uranium, 235. Read belt contents, fold. Uh, blank data card, blank data card. And don't forget to connect this. Fantastic. Um, we also need... I don't know which side... This is actually flippable, so that's easy to deal with. I'm going to delete that. And this goes here, perhaps. It might be cleaner if they come in from opposite sides, actually. Uh, on the other hand, we need to merge the blank data cards with the uh, testing packs. I actually do want a lane balancer for the testing packs and also for the 
blank data cards because we'll be merging two belts. Uh, we'll be merging full belts into half belts. This thing will act as a lane balancer, but if it if it has to act as a lane balancer, it'll slow things down. So put this here actually. And priority that side. And then we're gonna bring those two down here. So we need to get two belts of testing pack to four half belt inputs. We need to get, actually just half a belt would be enough for blank data cards, but for the shape of it, we need to get one belt of blank data card onto the half belts that are shared with the uh, testing packs. Um, I think the first thing we do here... This is one of the reasons why I like to I like to have LTN dropping off things on different sides of the belt to begin with. It's a lot cleaner than when we have to merge them ourselves. Um, where and how are we going to We want to split at the last minute to minimize the amount of belt we use, right? Perhaps. Just for the sake of making this a bit cleaner, maybe I'll move everything in one tile. gonna need oh yeah we're gonna need two splitters here or not we're gonna need that one to split to there over here and then Something like this. And something like this, perhaps. Blank data cards like this. Sacro leads. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. So in that case, uh, material testing packs can just go here, and then. That part happens over there, and same thing applies to, this might be a bit cleaner actually, that's not quite right. No, that, uh, what am I doing? So this thing is... If this is material testing pack, then this needs to be blank data card. We 
we need one full belt of material testing pack going to here and to here. And one full belt of material testing pack going to here and to half of this belt. So blank data cards need to go here. Just copy this. Hello there, is space being explored? Indeed. Tumbling satellite, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And shouldn't there be... Oh, I was going to say, shouldn't there be four places the blank data cards need to go, but this is two. Okay, so blank data cards are going here. And also here. Doing okay, hope you are too. Fantastic, thank you. Moo Pin, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um I don't know exactly how I want this part to be shaped, but I'm sure we can do better than this thing. Maybe something like... That's looking better. Although that would probably... It's fine. We can go here. And then that goes there. So blank data. That's where we need it. Blank data. Testing pack. Testing pack. Testing pack. And testing pack. And we need blank data over here as well. And I'm pretty sure with our rate we can just... Now we only need half a belt for the entire thing, so we can just bring this through like so. Something like this. Okay, so the shape might change, but that's basically what needs to happen. And then we need to get a whopping half a belt of each other resource. Um, to this entire block. So that's going to be this thing right here. Testing pack goes into an underground but never comes out. Uh, does it? True, thank you. Big clam, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's tidy this up a bit, and it might also help us to find room for this belt. Oops. And that can just follow the most basic splits possible. Except there's a bit of a lack of room here. I wonder if we can do better. We need it here and here. I could just move the whole thing down a bit. We've got plenty of empty space here. Output is three belts, uh, four belts, which we've got room for here. We just need to filter them. Why don't we build our contaminated scrap output and we'll run some belts and then we'll see exactly how much room we've got left, how far we can move the whole thing down, and I think it's going to be plenty. Um,
to make the this bit up the top easy. All right, so we need some filters. And how should we do this? I'm thinking something like this. Data. Which one are we doing? Radiation shielding data? Copy paste flip is easier than going into these fiddly buttons. And we're only ever going to have like half a belt of the data itself at most. So that's going to go over here somewhere. This one might be a bit different. Let's go with one, two, three, four. Our out outputs. Let's make those line up just for the aesthetic of it. like this. Fantastic. Pretty sure we can tighten that up by even more tiles. Uh, let's put you here. Not sure exactly how this part's going to look yet. Probably... Uh... I don't know. We could pretty much anything. The whole thing that we're getting here is less than half a belt. But uh, let's make it look neat anyway. Why don't we put... On second thought, if it's going to be so little... can move those over a bit. This is fine, actually. Okay, so we can obviously move this down three tiles. No worries whatsoever. We could move it down yet another tile. Uh, two more tiles if we really want to. But I think four tiles is going to be more than enough. I'll just move the uh, pylon substation out of the way. And, th oh, wait. You know what, I'll just delete it and put it back. So we're gonna we're gonna cut all of this. And then bring it down four tiles. What's this train up to? 
waiting its turn to drop off testing perks. So this thing probably bottlenecks on trains when everything is supplied consistently. Unless we've run out of testing packs, which I doubt. Um, we've only got the one train stop to pick up the testing packs for the moment, so that might be an issue. I should set up some shuttles for testing packs. Uh, unless I feel like making another shuttle drop-off, which I should, the testing packs are going to have to come from all the way over here. And considering how ridiculously small the stack size is, and everything that uses testing packs pretty much is over this area, um, I should probably make another drop-off. And put it as close to this stuff as possible. So right about here. Brick shuttle drop off. I I have updated this blueprint, but there's probably a thing or two that still needs to be fixed. Let's get the scaffolding spiders down here. And then Uh, so this part looks like this. And we should have way more than enough space now to split our... Split our iridium plate and uranium where we need to. Especially since it's just the one belt that we need. Oh! I think we're getting close to ready. Let's not forget to put this here. And it's going to be contaminated scrap, isn't it? Let's name the station. this up a couple of tiles, perhaps? We can easily fit more underground if we need to. I think I'll do that, actually. I kind of want to put this here. That's slightly too far. I moved it down one tile too many. It's fine. And let's chuck some undergrounds in over here. Goes here, goes there, this goes here. The best feeling is when you're done building and everything works as intended in D. That's going to be too short. Let's line this one up with that. Actually, no, it's a perfect fit if we don't. Oh, it's even closer than expected. Uh, I feel like that looks better. And this belt could obviously be a bit different. In fact, we could merge it way back here. So let's do that. OK, 
Okay. We've already got our... Uh, almost everything. Let's get our construction spiders up here. Uh, throw in our... everything else. Don't forget to actually finish this bit of the rail block that didn't get placed for some reason. Not the part that... not the one that fills them all in, that would be bad. And let's remember as well to put our pylon substation back in the middle. Already got liquid rocket fuel on the way. Fantastic. Uh, we've got this set to something that doesn't get used. I want to put... testing packs here, I think. What number are we up to? I think this is maybe our most recent. 115. Uh, 119. Okay. Pretty sure we haven't used 120, so... 120, 21, 22... 22. And we're going to say... Testing pack equals zero. We're going to request... What is it? 10? Uh, stack size is 10, so 480. This will fit three train loads. Fantastic. Uh, I'm not going to change the station name. So now I think we just have to build the shuttles on planet. Uh, I'll have the shuttles line up with the blocks that they're going to, so we're going to use this one. Let's get our spider over there again. Should already have plenty of floor. Uh, it might end up dropping all of the floor it has somewhere else though, so let's get it to approach from the southwest. Fantastic. We never actually finished this rail. Let's get our construction spiders over there. And we should probably put some signals here as well. Not that we need the iron from the mines these days. Okay. That really does look a bit tacky. I wonder if I could fix it somehow. I'm not moving all of these up one block just to fix that. Uh, I guess we could just... Do it like this. And this one here might look a bit more consistent. It's also easier to read what this is. Okay. Bring our construction spiders back. And... Make sure this is connected. I think we're almost ready. Gotta make sure these chests are connected as well. All of them. And the inserters. Fantastic.
I forgot the lane balancer for the data cards, but they're going to be so slow that that's fine. The, uh, the equal unload inserters are going to lane balance that well enough. We need to update this. Uh, one train load of uranium. Plus a little bit. One train load of iridium plate plus a little bit. I think we settled on 7,000 for that. Blank data cards. We can fit two train loads, but... It, they will be consumed pretty slowly. And testing packs, because the stack size is so small, and we have plenty of chests, uh, we're going to go six train loads. That is 9,600. Is that all? Really? Okay, we're going to be spending a lot of liquid rocket fuel transferring those testing packs. Then again, we have the liquid rocket fuel. We've got a massive overabundance of vulcanite these days. Right, let's update our station name. Uh, redeem plate. Blank data card. And testing pack. Cool. I think that might be it. If there's a mistake here, I think we're going to have to summon some items to find it. Speaking of which, I might just go while we're waiting for the trains and pick up the items that were not supposed to be put in these chests. Okay, how is there three and a bit stacks of heavy girders in here? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, because that's what was not supposed to be put there in the first place, I think. Let's see. Whitelist, heavy girder, iridium plate. No, this is concerning. Um, the filter inserter is facing the wrong belt, at least on this side. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, they're all wrong. Oh no. So the belt that has the blank data cards and testing packs is the one where we're blacklisting heavy garter and ballist ballistic shielding data? That should never have been in there. That's what I came here to pick up. Scrap and ballistic shielding data. So this... I need to do this to tidy it up a bit anyway. Um. And I also need to switch off all of the inputs for this block. So that we can empty the belts as much as possible. Fluid can stay. Oh, these should definitely be stack inserters as well. Let's get the construction spiders to pay that a visit. Oh. 
Why is the train tracks cool? <laughs> Indeed. It is space exploration. Uh, space rail. You can use the space rail on the ground if you like the look of it. Um, but it does cost twice as much steel, for starters. Um, 100 rail, 100 steel, 100 copper cable, and one energy catalogue, which is the lowest tier of uh, energy. Like, it takes four data cards to make that. Um, makes 100 space rail. Okay, so that should be that quarter done. How about this one? Check, check. And one, two, three, and four. So that's the right side done. To the bottom. And over here. Alright, so step one, cleaning up this mess, is almost complete. Machines. Eight. I may have missed some, actually. side ones. Uh, and these ones as well. Okay, I think this half of the block is done. Maybe I should have just got the construction spiders to deconstruct all the chests in this area and then put them back. It's not many items, they definitely could have picked them up. Then again, they're always over full. Need to take some time to make two different sets of things that they carry. Okay, I think that's the last one. So we should see no scrap or data cards on the filters for these inserters. I don't feel like checking all of those until my eyes bleed right now. Let's go back up here. Uh, we're just missing some uranium. Pretty sure we've got plenty of that. We do have shuttles bringing it up. Uranium is here. Fantastic. It's actually completely full. This one is. Unfortunately, the trains are the same and don't look as nice as in the research menu. You can get uh, modded, cooler looking trains as well. Using space rail as normal rail on Navis is just for show. Uh, this is correct. Except for the fact that if you have a blueprint in space that you want to port down to the ground, you have to replace all of the rail because you can't use a um, you can't use an upgrade planner to swap between the two types of rail. Uh What's our train limit here? Three? Do we have uranium on the way? We do not. 
get the insanely fast train mod? No. I will not. Okay, so... Basically... We need to swap this belt and this belt. Oh, it's even worse than I... Th no, this isn't so bad. Um, but we have to swap, like, these two with this one. This one with this one. This one with this one. That's gonna be fun. Um, I could maybe... I could maybe stop letting the items flow in. That might help. What could possibly go wrong with insanely fast trains? If you blink, you miss it. That's how fast they are. Good grief. So they are basically just teleporters. Uh, it's obviously going to be pretty easy to swap these two. This part is going to be more of a headache, I think. So we don't need to split that one. We need it to go down the middle. And then we need to split this one here. Uh, that's actually pretty easy. Uh, and over here, swapping the... Uh, swapping these two should be pretty simple. That's actually looking way easier than expected. Let's do it. Or I could... Uh, if I'm willing to pick up everything in these chests, which I'm not, I could just swap these around. Yeah, I think it'll... Hmm. Which is less of a burden? There's actually a lot of stuff in these chests. Let's do it the way where we just swap belts around. That's not going to reach down there, is it? Let's just do this. And then... Uh, this one doesn't need a split. It needs to go down here. This one does need to split now. And it goes here. These two need to swap. I don't suppose we can get a decent amount of the items on the belt to just be consumed to get this going. Uh, this one was trickier. I wonder if it'll be easier or harder than last time. So we need this one. Let's get rid of this. Bring this back a bit. This goes here. Wait, what? This needs to go here now. And also... Here. That has to continue through as well. I 
think we just have to go all the way over here again. And this one just goes like this. That's not so hard. It's not very consistent looking across both sides. It's fine. That's what I'll tell myself. Okay. I think we can turn these around again. And I'll take the items. Oh my god. I've actually got so much crap in my inventory now. First of all, I'll drop these data cards off here. I don't think we're going to need them in the mall. It's not enough to trigger um, having a train take them away either. Let's change this back to half a second. Uh, heavy girders, iridium plate data card testing pack. If I find any machines that have stopped, I'd like to just do this. No testing packs. Can't you use shift C to distribute items over machines? Uh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Fantastic. I don't know if it'll be enough to unclog some of these, though. I should probably just go to the ends of the belt and pick all this stuff up. Which is going to be a little bit tedious. I might do that off-stream. Then again, it might not take that long, especially if I use Shift-C. It's a shortcut I always forget about. That's incredibly useful. Let's do that again. Get rid of the blank data cards here. Fantastic. Shift C is a godsend? Yeah, it is. Alright, let's pick this stuff up. That's looking correct already. Well, this was a lot easier than I expected it to be. What the heck was that noise, though? I think it might have been a bunch of machines finishing their job at the same time or something. Because of Shift-C? I don't know. Alright, so that should be that half uh, functioning. Why are there no testing packs? Because we've run out. I can live with that as an explanation. I 
until we get the testing pack shuttles moving. And we might even need multiple. We might even bottleneck on refueling the shuttles. Because testing packs have such a small stack size. It might even be questionable to build them on the ground for the uh, productivity bonus. Or maybe we should keep using... This sounds weird, but maybe we should keep using uh, cargo rockets for the testing packs. Just because they're more fuel efficient, even though they're a big pain and like to crash. We can all, we've got r ridiculous amounts of, um, oh, I forgot to, I forgot to clear out these, um, the splitter bits sticking out like this. It might be the case that it's going to sort itself out because I dropped so many items into the machines with shift C. Uh, but then again, maybe not, especially up here. I don't need to start just because of what's on this belt here. Possibly, maybe? Okay, that part I will fix off stream. Let's go back up here. And... Products finished, zero. Why do we still have no uranium? Didn't we have uranium not showing up somewhere else? And it turned out to be for some stupid reason. Uranium-235. Stack threshold is one train. 9,000. Oh, I remember. I thought it was stack size 50 for some reason. I did the exact same thing before. Uh, let's go for, like, 18,000. And while the train is coming, I'm going to take a very short break. Back shortly. Let the spiders pick up the splitters. That's a good idea, actually. Let's bring them down here. And I think all of the splitters in this area are just for that purpose.
let's do a deconstruction planner. Uh, space splitter. And just in this area, 63, 64. Okay, that's more the kind of number I expected. Oh, there's like a couple from the output down here. Whoops. Undo. And that should be that block completely tidied up. Fantastic. What about our uranium? It's still on its way. It is just now arriving. Fantastic. Let's see if we got everything right. One, and a two, and a three, and no doubt four belts. Set filters blacklist. Oh, there it is. I couldn't quite see the, um... Hold on. Okay, this is pr probably gonna work okay, but I actually... No, it's fine. I thought I had the wire reading from the wrong chest here, but it's not. We want to read from the chest that would be inputting to the same machine. So yeah, and, and we copy-pasted that all the way down, so I doubt if any of these are wrong. As long as we got the first four correct. Fantastic. It looks like we're struggling on the output belts. I forgot to put some splitters in. Very basic error. Uh, so we're looking at pretty much one full belt of various output products for each column. Uh, we've got eight machines, so after four of them, we want to swap the sides of the belt. And that's going to be all it takes. That looks weird. Why does it show me a corner for that one and a straight for that one. It's going to be the same when we actually put it down anyway. Nice. Why are these ones stopped? Oh, because the output is blocked. Still. Is that healthy green glow? And we're not having trouble keeping up with the output. Nope, looks good. Very good. And we can see the uh, blacklist kicking in for whatever's in this chest, it's not going to pick up from this belt. Perfect. Okay. That is a nice, clean build, actually. Uh, let's get our... Why, why does our space construction, why does our spaceship constructor not have spaceship floor to put here? I distinctly remember checking that it had spaceship floor, and then I moved it around anywhere that it might drop off spaceship floor. And yet, here it is with no spaceship floor where I wanted to build the, uh, 
where I wanted to build the testing pack shuttles. We can take some steps towards setting that up now anyway. Uh, so let's see, 64k, that is... Uh, four train loads, is that all? 160, 320, 640. With a zero on the end. That is not a whole lot. And we're going to set this filter to testing pack. Add some wiring. Copy paste this across. And connect it to the train stops. We're going to be requesting testing pack. We're going to launch when, let's see, 48 times 16 chests. Uh, times stack size of 10, 7,680. I could have figured that out in a much quicker way. Uh, when testing pack is greater than or equal to that, we're going to take off. Uh, I forget what number we were going for here. For the clamp. 122. And last but not least, we need to set a blacklist, I mean a whitelist for the testing pack. Uh, the number should be... how many stacks? That's the same as what fits in a... No, that's double what fits in a shuttle. Okay. Uh, let's see. This times two... is 15,360. So if we somehow get more than that in these chests, they'll be overflowing. Let's get rid of them. We're only requesting half that anyway. Wait a sec. Six, 6,400 uh, divided by 10, 6, 4. Chest size 48 times 10 times 16. 7,680. Uh, this is definitely the wrong number. We want to just about fill... Um, I think we want eight train loads. 12,800. Yeah, double this, I thought so. And this will be set to a bit higher than that. The absolute maximum that would fit in those storage chests. Okay. Let's get our spaceship builder. I might just see how full your inventory is. One, two, three, four, five, six stacks left. Um, I'm pretty sure floor is the main thing we keep running out of, so let's go for, like, three more stacks of floor. So, 950. Whoops. And send you back to build this.
Fantastic. We're already at 3.3k. Nice. Uh, so we're actually ready to build... Okay, this part's not going to be any different. Um, let's build it down here. Scaffolding spiders, get down here, please. We're going to copy-paste edit the same tier 3 and tier 4 um, catalog layout that we've used before. I'll just switch these two off before I copy-paste it. And that way there's no stress waiting for the combinators so I can switch them off. Should I send the construction spiders back yet? I don't think so. They're going to be building nothing but computers this time. What are we missing here? We've got bots hovering again. Over full spiders. Just waiting on some scaffolding. Almost there. Still just a few tiles they didn't bother to lay out. Whenever you're ready. Don't tell me there's like three specific bots that are reserved to fill those out. Yep. Okay. Let's put this here. I didn't turn off the negative 275 degree domo fluid input. That one's going to be the same anyway. Let's get some computers in here. I'm pretty sure how that works. What? What are we sure about? Uh, so this is going to be comprehensive material catalog. And this one's going to be tier 4 uh, extended catalog once we can do it. We're going to go catalog extended goes here, catalog, comprehensive, goes here. The bot assigned to a specific placement? Yeah, that's why deconstructing it and then cancelling the deconstruction got the bots to lay it out immediately. We actually need to resupply the spiders now anyway. Let's send them back for more belt and stuff. Scaffolding spiders can take a break as well. And then we just need to lay out our requests for the four types of data card for each of these recipes. Friction, ballistic, uh, radiation, and explosion shielding. 
And this one's going to be... Uh, electrical? Electrical shielding. Laser shielding. Uh, particle beam shielding. And experimental alloys. Let's update the station names. One, and two, and three, and four. And... One, two, three, and four. Friction data goes here. And what's after friction? Ballistics shielding. Copy paste this one across. Next is radiation and explosion explosion and radiation oh that one's done and we'll get ahead of things So that this will be set up as soon as we complete tier 4. Well, it'll be ready for that ahead of time. Uh, what was this one called? Electrical shielding? And then... Particle beam shielding. Experimental alloy shield. Uh, no shielding. Experimental alloy data. Fantastic. And that should be tier 3 material. I'm going to set the provide stack threshold a little bit lower. Otherwise, we end up with 7,998 cards that we don't pick up. And uh, same thing over here. Fantastic. That robot is hanging out. Slap him one? What? What robot? I don't see... I don't see any stuck robots. Not here, not now. How many products have we finished here? 1400? They're all actually exactly 1400. Wow. That's pretty cool. Let's head back to the mall and admire our handiwork. We've already got 11k explosion shielding data. It's joke, lol. Lol. Uh, yeah, I think we're getting close to having our comprehensive catalogs already. Um, spiders need to go back there and finish the belt. And that should be all it takes. Uh, we need the rail finished, actually. 
and I would like this part of the rail to be finished as well. Send them back to the mall after that. Okay. So the time has finally come. I don't want to patch a material science block with a awkward to build and unsightly space manufactory sticking out here like we've done before. Now that we've got material, uh, sorry, universal simulation, uh, we're not going to be making uh, simulations, significant data on the spot. We're going to do it in a rail block, and that means we're going to be I don't know if I'll bother to, at least not yet, maybe at the very end of the game, uh, I don't know if I'll bother to, like, deconstruct what we've got already. Uh, oh, we haven't updated this. Probably because we didn't have the tier 3. Let's do that now. Let me just copy-paste this so we can change the recipe. To the version that doesn't spit out any blank data cards. I would still have to summon comprehensive catalogs. I may or may not use this block, but for the other ones... We could definitely just uh, change the output stations. So the point of this block would be to make uh, insight. On second thought, I think it's actually just going to be easier uh, making a block that makes insight specifically and then picking it up from there. I could even make a block that does all four ta Oh, there's a tier four here. So it uses four types of catalog and some blank data card. And it makes 22 biological insight for one of each type of catalog. That is so much better than even the tier 3. Wow. It still inputs and outputs 25 degree thermofluid, same as everything else. So I think what we might do is build a block. I want to do one of these in each quarter, and we can always copy it if we need more of them. So we're going to need a quad input and also blank data cards. And then probably with beacons and everything, especially considering the faster computers we're going to get, not that many more... Uh, not that many machines. And then an output station. Yeah, this is the, the idea is already forming in my head, uh, what this might look like. This space base is epic. Actually, they all are. I find that I don't finish a Factorio game so much as abandon it. I always play on after meeting the victory conditions, indeed. Um... So what I want to do, it, it's helpful that we've actually got these recipes already, um, except it does need quantum supercomputers. Hmm. Do we have any yet? I did order some, but maybe I missed something. 
We've got supercomputers only. Quantum supercomputer is still missing quantum processor. Quantum processor, I don't even see. We haven't made a single quantum processor. Selford Cell. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the raid. How was your stream today? First playthrough modded? Uh, as in, first time I've played through space exploration, yes. Gamer dude abides. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hey, hey, how's Factorio going? It's going quite well, actually. We just unlocked a uh, universal simulation. We need every type of science uh, insight to do this, but we get a lot more significant data and a lot less blank data cards recycled. That be looking like a mighty big space station? Indeed. Uh, the factory continues to grow. We are maybe 75%-ish of the way through uh, building everything, I think. We've got the highest tier of uh, each type of science, at least, is tier 4. Uh, let's see. Science. Uh, we've got, we just finished, ish, kind of, uh, Material Science Pack 3. We've already got Tier 3 for Energy Science, Bioscience, uh, Astro Science. And we've unlocked these two already. There's also Deep Space Science that we haven't even touched yet. So I imagine... By the end of this playthrough, we're probably looking at a base about about this big for the orbital base. That's my guess. Uh, so where were we? I think what I want to do right now... That's right. I want to design a new block uh, to do to deal with insights, and I want to build it as if we're going to build. Uh, even though we don't have any quantum supercomputers just yet, although we can make them, uh, I want to build it as if we're going to do the tier four uh, insights, so that we've got all the belt inputs and everything, so we can just upgrade to that easily. And I want to do, if I can, one type of science in each quarter of the block. And we're doing that so that we can do this. We're going to start making our significant data in a separate rail block. So it's more efficient. In 2024 TM, indeed. Uh, where should we do it? I'm thinking right here, this block is calling to me. It's the most central block that we've got left. Twelve things are being destroyed. Okay, that's normal. Alright, let's get our space constructorons down here as well. And if we're going to do a build that's like sort of radially symmetrical. We're gonna have rail like this. The inputs and outputs. Uh, we're gonna have something like this for or what was it? In sight. For our catalogue tiers 1 to 4. Those are going to be quite slow individually. And we're going to just pick those up from half belts. 
I think blank data cards are going to be very slow as well. Another fantastic development is he's cleared biters completely from several planets and been able to trim the unused areas, indeed. We haven't cleared them from all of the planets that we're exploiting. Uh, we have a cozy little island on a couple of them, like uh, this one. I still... F oh, wait. No, I did send the outpost to there, I just forgot to land it. Let's anchor. As far as I can remember, the only reason I was sending this out here is to build some storage. Uh, which I should have built before. I think we were also... Oh, there it is. Never mind. We were, we were lacking uranium fuel cells, but that's because I forgot to send uranium by cannon. Uh, Matu, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's our power looking? Excellent, actually. Are we still... I think we're bottlenecking on the cannons themselves, I'm not sure. Or I thought we were earlier. Let's try putting these drills back now that I fixed that bit of belt that was messed up. Um, and we'll see what it looks like. So we've got 167, I mean, four, four fragments per second. The cannons can allegedly consume 200 per second, but I think rate calculator doesn't take into account how long it takes them to charge. Which, considering the distance and the size of this planet, is it takes a lot of energy to fire these things. So I might need to build more cannons if I want to get the most out of this. Um, I think we are doing quite well with Vitamelange for the moment, though. I could be wrong. It's going to take a while before the furnaces... Oh, we've got 19,000 roast here already. What's our limit that we set? 64,000. Okay, that's not even close. So we're only not smelting something because we've caught up with everything and or we're missing a resource, which would be Vitamelange. But these Omni Smelters have huge capacity, so it's not necessarily representative representative of how we're doing. Uh, Vitamelange Roast. It seems we're consuming all that we produce still. That's a little bit of a surprise. Uh, where are we consuming it? That would be turning it into spice, I think. I'm a little surprised that we still need more Vitamelange. But it's really just going to be a matter of, um, pasting in more cannons and core mining drills. Not a whole lot more core mining drills. We're pretty deep into diminishing returns here. Yeah, we're definitely bottlenecking on the cannons. You can see them at you can see the Vitamelange at the end of the belts. Okay. I'm gonna put that off for now. Let's look more at What are you doing here? Uh let's look more at building this block out. Thanks for the stream. Take care, Whiskers. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, uh, we're gonna do a request a station here, I think. And we're gonna do a pickup station uh, here. 
these can all be chain signals, is what I've learned relatively recently. Okay. Uh, so I'm thinking... There's that copy-paste I was looking for. We're not picking up these items in particular. This is just to illustrate. It's a kind of a visual aid. So which data should we do first? Insight, rather. Let's go with the order that they're in here. So astronomical. We're doing the four types of catalog. We could probably... With, we could probably do all five inputs, physical inputs from here, with the rate that we're going to end up with. We'll see. But what I was thinking was four inputs from this station, and then we're going to have a shared pickup and drop off over here. That should be the same distance. Actually, one more. Right about here. That should leave room for doing the same thing on the opposite side. Okay. So we would probably get our blank data cards. Uh, not there. Come to think of it, the input is going to be faster than the output, isn't it? Tier 4 insight. Actually, no. 22 astronomic insight comes out of 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 items. Or 6, as far as we're concerned, at this station. I'm also not entirely sure where we're going to put our fluid input if we do it this way. It's starting to look more attractive that we would have our blank data cards come from here as well. Uh, but I was thinking... Well, we're going to need like 90 per second. Maybe not actually 90 per second. Uh, we're going to need the input for the station here. Probably the slowest unloader for blank data cards is going to be fine. Maybe even the kind of drop-off that shares fluid and a slow resource on one side like this. Except we don't need we don't actually need, um, like, four drop-off stations for fluid, but it has to go somewhere. Let's put down a beacon. And see what it's going to look like. How much we can fit in one quarter. Preferably... Preferably equidistant from the center, like so. Uh, there's pretty much only one layout for computers with fluid in, fluid out. Looks like this. That said, uh, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do the one, two, three belts of input. We could even share the input and output belt. But actually, I think the output's going to be way faster than anything else. Uh, hmm. Uh, 
How many can we actually fit? We're going for... Okay, that's weird. Oh, we can't select the tier 4 um, recipe. Because we need a better computer. But it takes 40 seconds as compared to 30 seconds. So we can get an idea of the rate playing with this. Let's see. Shove some speed modules in here, please. I'll probably use some higher tier modules for this one. It's actually going to be... If we do four different uh, resources in one block, it's actually going to be pretty hard to fit. I might just not do it that way. Uh, even so, we can get a feel for what the throughput would look like. Let's maybe multiply this by four. And it's only a bit more than half a belt of output. And everything else is really slow. And it's going to be slower. Except for blank data cards. Uh, with the higher tier recipe. Even with faster modules, it's not going to be very fast at all. Pretty much just half a belt of each thing is going to be enough. Except for the output. That said, uh, it is looking a bit cramped. I think we'll drop the idea of having four different catalogs in one. It's also going to be a lot more um, troublesome for train traffic if I do it that way. So let's get rid of this. And this goes here. Tidy this up as well. Okay. In that case, we could just have... Uh, drop-offs like so. Something like this. So it's going to be tier one. Uh, astronomic catalog. Astronomic, a uh, broad astronomic catalog. That's going to go on this side. Broad astronomic catalog. Let's double check those. Seems good. So those two are going to share a belt. Uh, then we've got comprehensive, which is tier 3. And extended, which is tier 4. Comprehensive and extended fantastic and I might just do the usual um, the usual thing here where I'll build out half a block, and then it'll be easy to double it if we decide to later on. Or I could even do, like, two sciences in one block. 
That might be a good idea. So we're going to need blank data cut. I, I probably am going to end up adding this rail again, actually. Let's do a couple of stations here. We're going to do the same thing we've done in a few other places where we have our... This is going to be the same except for the station name. We're going to drop in our negative 273 degree thermofluid here and pick up the output hot fluid there. Just going to switch this off before a train comes before we're ready. Even though I'm pretty sure we're not going to make a change to that. So in this block we're going to be making comprehensive astronomic insights. Oh, sorry, we're going to be making Astronomic Insight, full stop. And even with the tier 3 recipe, there's not going to be any waste output. If you don't count the thermo fluid. Now that I think about it, now that I look at it, can we do better than this layout? I'm not sure if we can, and it also affords us some space to add a drop-off for blank data cards. So I think we're probably just going to go with that. We'll obviously have to move a bit of the pipes and stuff, but other than that, Maybe we could fit more computers, maybe. But I don't think it's that important. Okay. Uh, didn't expect it to go this way, but here we are. Let's copy paste this build starters. I'm going to immediately switch off all of the combinators for the inputs before we get an unexpected delivery. I should have saved the uh, settings that I just put into all of these. Oh well. Doesn't take too long. Copy paste that across three times. And once more with feeling. I think we'll just do the exact same thing on the other side. No, I think we could do two different types of signs here. And it will be enough for the foreseeable future. So we'll start with uh, comprehensive astro on this side. And we'll do... I might just copy-paste this across anyway, since it'll make it a little bit easier to update. This one's going to be comprehensive bio. I'm pretty sure we've got room... Yeah, uh, we need to add, like, one more belt 
to each of these and we've already got room to do it. So that's not going to be difficult at all. Okay, so this one's going to be comprehensive bio. Um, the only difference, as far as we're concerned, between tier 3 and tier 4, we're already setting it up to take in the extended, is it's going to add blank data cards. Okay, so let's request... Uh, some of these. And these. And these. And these. And we're looking for two train loads of each resource. Just enough to comfortably make sure we don't run out. Assuming we have the supply. And we'll update this to the green version of same. That should go here, actually. This should be tier 3. And tier 4. Tier 1 green catalog. Uh, broad catalog. Copy paste that. Tier three, tier four. Fantastic. I think these are set up except for the station names now. This one, uh, this is blue, isn't it? Astronomic. Okay. And then we want some blank. might just remove this for now. Same goes for this one. Move this pipe as well. See exactly where this fits comfortably. Should be fine. Uh, I would like to put this here. And we should have plenty of room for some train stops in the middle. Although, to be honest, just one of them should be way more than enough for the blank data cards but for the symmetry of it and for having an abundance of storage let's just go with two so we're going to request blank data cards here add some signals Techno Sapien, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I was gonna say I wish I could get some supercomputers so I could, or well, some quantum supercomputers so I can rate calculate, but I'm pretty sure 90 blank data cards per second is gonna be overkill. Um, 
so I'll just do that. We've got our quantum phenomenon data here. We're missing Holmium plate of all things. Okay, I've procrastinated that long enough. We definitely need to build a new block uh, that deals with processing Holmenite. Um, because we've actually got lots of it. We're just bottlenecking on the actual machines now. Uh, so that'll be... That, that's on the to-do soon list. I still want to finish this build right now. Core NXT, thank you for the follow. Well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're going to do something like this. Pipe might have to change a little bit. Let's say 90 per second there. And this is wrong. We need left 90 per second. Oh, would it look tidier if this was in the middle? I think they're going to collide with each other if I do that. No, they're not. It's not going to line up very well with the pipes, though. Let's put this here. And this here. And we're just going to need to... Split this twice. I might start by putting this one over here, actually. And then this goes here. Uh, our inserters that pick up from these belts. If I do them right in the middle, that's going to be consistent, it looks like. That one's going to be blocked by the perfectly placed um, pylon substation. <laughs> the left unloader is too far right. True, that's actually lined up with the locomotive. Good point, thank you. Well, in that case... Maybe, maybe I'll do these closer to the middle. So that one's left upside down. This will be right upside down. And we'll see about... Doing our pipes a bit different here. fits well. Okay. This, this is still basically going to be the same. Spiders are taller than they look. Okay, so we're going to have input belt going up like so. Is 
That's weirdly asymmetrical. Wait, where is this going? Oh, I... I got rid of that. Okay. How fast is the output for this so far? Two belts. Okay. Um, I think the tier 4 is going to be slower. 12 in 30 seconds. 22 in 40. That's actually faster. Okay. So we actually need two belts for output now. Possibly more if we went really overboard with the uh, m modules, but I think we could use some efficiencies instead. How far does this reach? This is the maximum. And that's four. So this should be four. This should be the maximum. And then we get a nice clean. Symmetry. Looking good. I can't let this slide. It needs to be consistent. Okay. So that's not going to be blocking. We're just going to. the full throughput. That part is looking okay. And I think it's going to be exactly the same on the other side. Fantastic. Same thing. Okay. Uh, so... Where should we put our inserters that can hopefully look perfectly consistent across the entire thing? Maybe next to the existing ones. Like this. I think that's going to look pretty good, actually. We do need to swap these out for undergrounds now, and I kind of didn't cut out the right bits of belt to make that happen easily. I thought I saw some unnecessary undergrounds in here though. That's not what we're looking for. It's actually really difficult to see where stuff is because of these bots. Um, let's empty our spiders a little bit. Oh, that's a combinator. Okay. Space Constructron. So that skips over four. That one's going to be a bit different. I guess that looks more consistent. 
Let's just cut out all of this. And we'll put our inserters in. And then run our belt. And remove the excess undergrounds. That's looking pretty good. Uh, I was hoping to copy-paste that, but there's nowhere that this whole thing is going to be exactly the same. However, on the outside, I think we can make use of that. We can't copy-paste flip if we... Oh, yes, we can. Okay, cool. I'll start by flipping this, see if that looks okay. This project with everything looks so simple, man, I would also manage the left back. But is this a is this a pasta? Am I reading delicious pasta right now? Okay, that looks okay, I think. Uh, let's copy, paste, flip this part. Let's see if we can make that line up. Fantastic. Don't need that. So that just leaves the two um, where the beacons are. I definitely want to paste. Actually, this will probably be it. Let's see. Gonna be a little bit careful. I think that's right. It's kind of hard to. See if that's exactly where I want it. still need some... Wait, why is this here? This fast inserter. Something's not right. These ones are backward from what I would expect. I think they were probably closer together before and that was the aesthetic that I went for to um oh no okay we're starting from scratch for the ones where the beacons are Let's just remove all of that for now. In fact, this will probably be easier. Should have just done a deconstruction planner for that part. Alright, let's connect this up again, and I'm going to cut all of this, except for this part. I 
Okay, so the whole thing's looking pretty good and symmetrical and nice so far. I think I want to have the same fast inserters. And we had the long arm inserters alternating. Between the pipes. And I might just do them a little bit differently. Put them in front of the middle pipe for the third uh for the third layer. That's looking pretty good actually. Uh, so these ones come down from the north. That has to turn. Just for symmetry, if nothing else, I'll turn that one. And that goes like so. And I think we can probably... Copy paste this and do exactly the same thing here. That is looking pretty good, I think. This one's going to have to that one, that's easy. It's actually a really good fit. Which one is this? The far one. Perfect. Nice. Let's add in some undergrounds just to tidy things up a bit. That's not going to fit very well. What are we... What are we undoing? No. Why, why are you like this? Yeah, that doesn't look great. Let's do it like that. Or even like this. that an even four. That... Wait, what? Why is that not consistent? Oh, I see. Uh, and this asymmetry brought to you by... What exactly? I think it's just the nature of the stations. Oh, yeah, I see. I could make it way more symmetrical. If I just move these over a tile. Give that a little belt there. It's because of the uh, these things not being perfectly mirrored, because the inserters put stuff on the right side of the belt. There we go. And then... Does that actually reach? Yeah, it does. What looks better? This seems fine. Okay, so what's this pipe? That's the fluid output pipe. 
15 is slightly too long. 9 is too short. I think 9 is too short. Yeah, may as well do two sevens. Uh, and we need our thermo fluid input. I'll just check the rate for the whole thing is going to be kind of slow for thermo fluid. Confirmed. Uh, so in that case, that's going to go there. Is that actually... That's the same height, it just doesn't line up the same. Okay. How many tiles is this? Seven. Nice. I'm really liking the way this one's coming together. Let's get our spiders over here. And... Put in some filter inserters before we forget what this is for. I'm going to add some icons here. So this is going to be... Uh, I thought I'd be able to put the recipe here. I can if I use the Crafting Combinators mod for it. So I'm just going to put this icon here. And this one here. And I'm going to put a little note. Um, It's not actually tier 4 yet, but that'll be a lot more visible from when we've got that available. Blank data card. Fantastic. And what are we producing? Insights. Uh, Astro Insight. I might use more chests, we'll see. And Bio Insight. Okay, uh, that is just about going to do it for today. The belts on the right side went up instead of down. The belts on the right side went up instead of down. Uh, the outside belt does need to go up because the input station for those ones is here, if that's what you were referring to. Right side of the beacons? Oh, true, thank you. Is it because I flipped it? No, it's on both sides. It's weird. Okay, let's fix that. Thank you very much. Good catch. Just hold shift and drag it like that. And the bots will fix it. Cool. looking good. Let's see who's streaming Factorio for today. We got Intertooth, Sephinated, I think we rated yesterday. Marathi? I don't know if I've rated Marathi before. 
Mad scramble to avoid being corona lasered. Is this space exploration? I think it's probably space exploration. And K2. Why not? Okay, uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you like. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Uh, tomorrow's going to be Variety Day, and Space Exploration will return on Friday. Take care, guys. Tyrannosaurus hacks. Uh-oh.